that overly dramatic saxophone can mean only one thing. It's the Simplistic Reviews audio commentary for Richard Donner's Lethal Weapon 2. 25 years have passed since Briggs and Murtaugh got intimate on a toilet, killed a guy with a surfboard, purposefully dislocated his shoulder, smacked around Joe Pesci, and broke every single law of diplomacy in the book. Seriously, they are literally the worst cops ever. And that's why we love them. Here are your hosts, each of them certainly too old for this shit. Matthew Stewart, DJ Valentine, and Justin Polizzi. Welcome to the Simplistic Reviews audio commentary of Lethal Weapon 2. I'm DJ Valentine, and I'm joined by, I guess, two horrible, horrible cops that I know. Uh, Justin, Justin Blizzy and Matthew Stewart, how are you guys doing? Oh, you see that wow. sign on the door? I don't give a fuck. Wow. <laughs> these, these guys, <laughs> give me your badge and your gun right now. Wow. <laughs> horrible cops. <laughs> what the hell are you, then? <laughs> He's the psychologist. He's the, I'm, the police, I'm the police chief, the the one that looks like Richard Donner, but isn't Richard Donner. <laughs> <laughs> the, one from, the one from Predator 2 that's telling Danny Glover that the, the hostages are in the building. Oh, yeah, the SWAT guy. <laughs> the SWAT guy, I'm him. <laughs> how, do, how do you go from being like a police chief to being a SWAT guy? Seems like a downgrade. He got, the, he got demoted. Definitely. He got demoted because of fucking Riggs and Murtaugh. Oh, that's sexual, true. Sexual yeah. assault. Sexual, sexual assault. Sexual assault. <laughs> Slap somebody's ass. Too oh, many, boy. too many towel whips in the shower room. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know. Right? Maybe not enough. Maybe, maybe not enough. Well, this is the uh, 25th anniversary of the Richard Donner film *Lethal Weapon* too, so we're gonna do a little audio commentary, just to talk all over it. Um, we're going right past I, *Lethal Weapon* one, going right to two. Sure, we're, 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 we just blew right past Gary yeah, Busey. You blew uh, Busey. <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't say that. You know, publicly, but yeah. yes. I wish I'd that. <laughs> Worth you worth that. <laughs> <laughs> Gary um, Lucy. Gonna, uh, what you're gonna, what you can do if you're uh, syncing this to your own copy of *Lethal Weapon 2* at your your home, I'm gonna give you a uh, countdown and to hit play. We're at the two second mark. Once yeah. I say play, you should play, and you'll you know. Oh, I, second. And, uh, keep in mind, this isn't the unrated version. This is the rated version. The rated version. Yeah. I'm so, I mean, this is a violent fucking movie. How the hell is there an unrated version? Just four extra minutes of... Maybe <laughs> there was... A lot of people died. A lot of people died in this film. Maybe I mean, there was gay the... sex between Murtaugh and Riggs. I'm assuming there was something ma- magical cut out of this film. Okay, Um. anyway, I'm going to give you guys the uh, countdown here. Uh, we're at the two-second mark, I say again. Three, two, one... Play. Ah, Warner Brothers. Look at that Warner Brothers logo. Fucking, you better Warner Brother. <laughs> I like the drum roll that comes in here. Like, get ready for some fucked up shit. I never, I never liked the music in the beginning because it, oh, it, it's, 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 like, it's like it's like Looney Tunes. It's, 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 it's a so, so beautiful zany. mixture. The first movie is the darkest thing I've ever seen. This movie starts off like a Warner Brothers yeah. cartoon. And guess what, bitch? <laughs> right into the motherfucking car Look chase. At that. Right into <laughs> Fucking car chase. Riggs going fucking ham. <laughs> this is before Mel Gibson became a uh, <laughs> detriment to society. He actually, he actually was kind of a. Uh, he apparently used to drink like four or five p- pounds, uh, pounds, pounds, pints of uh, beer. I drank a lot of beer tonight. <laughs> uh, in the morning. <laughs> Glass houses, Lizzie. Glass houses. <laughs> I will be slurring my speech during this commentary. I'll, I'll, so be, I'll be there with you eventually. I am not having any heart issues or anything like that. <laughs> no strokes. Just just a little loose. Look at that mullet like blowing it. the breeze. <laughs> this is the same tunnel uh, that Sylvester Sloan was in? Yeah, this might be uh, a my, daylight tunnel. Daylight uh, tunnel? <laughs> Was that London? <laughs> Maybe. It kind of reminds me of the same tunnel from Back to the Future Part 2 as well. Is Little... that Boggs? Was that yeah, Boggs? Yeah, I think it's in? Boggs. I think it's him. It's like, I'm going to I'm gonna take what's out of my you're pants gonna, and you're going to swallow. Your mouth for a and you're oh, they're saying traitor. Yeah. He just read a book. Uh, Heisenberg was his brother-in-law. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I guess. I don't know. I like the old <laughs> random black guy that always shows up in the movie. He just, he just complains. Yeah. That's all he he, does. He, he's in a lot of movies too. 
This is uh, a random I think all three of them. <laughs> <laughs> or four of them. <sighs> that's Bogsy. That's Bogsy. That's Bogsy. Yeah, that's Bogsy. <laughs> and Boggs never drove again. Never drove again. <laughs> Just fake Danny Glover a stunt double and uh <laughs> the Japanese radio. <laughs> uh, it's pretty action. Now nowadays, like ag- uh, chase scenes like this, so illegal. Oh, this is oh, like, yes. this is step number one of showing how horrible of a cops these guys are. Well, putting the in- the good old days. <laughs> no, they used to get shit done in the in the fucking late eighties. She's getting a call from Murtaugh on one line. Then she got fucking John McClane at Nakatomi Plaza. <laughs> Sound more of pizza. <laughs> it's like, shit, what a night I'm having. Jesus like Regi- Reginald like, what, was in there? what was in there to explode like that? Children. <laughs> Small explosive children. Was gas uh, half, half off today or something? <laughs> Taking home gas home for the kids? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Those dudes, man, they got a lot of, they got a lot of uh, gasoline in them. See, you don't see shit like this in movies anymore. Just action packed within like the first, the first three minutes. Fucking, what are we at? Three minutes in right now? <laughs> I like Eight the fact people died. Like he's just gonna board a flight. Like fuck it, I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> I think. Bogs A. <laughs> Let me run this out. <laughs> Look how incredible this running is. It never, is good. It is, never has a running. Mel Gibson and Tom Cruise may be the greatest cinematic runners in history. Yeah, this is pretty epic running. He outruns a fucking car. And this is the second movie he's done it. Yeah. <laughs> the, when he was he, like, make he, Look, he caught up. He's... he's, he's... <laughs> oh, <laughs> Fox has got to go. This is eight... Uh... <laughs> Late early uh, '80s jeans. Thank yeah. God they were so skin tight. <laughs> uh, those Wranglers, man. <laughs> they, they could take I, think was, I think he. I think he rocks Levi's. You think he's rocking the Levi's? I think you have to rock the Levi's okay. if you're if you're gonna rock the flannel. You got to rock the Levi's with it. I don't know, man. He seems like a Wrangler guy. You think so? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. He seems like he, well, since he doesn't care, he's the only guy who like never cares about anything. He could just get like generic. Yeah, he could. I don't, I don't. I don't like how Danny Glover calls him slow. He literally You're out right in the car. car. <laughs> Get your slow ass in here! I just beat you up to the highway. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it. You, you run. Not gonna make it cliche. <laughs> You're not gonna make it to this fucking station wagon. <laughs> this joke would well. repeat itself for the next twenty five years, over and over. <laughs> You're right. I love this part. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you motherfucker. <laughs> you know, you were right, man. You got... <laughs> oh. Now, how long is the time period? Is this uh, a few months after the end of Lethal Weapon 1 it takes place? Because they're it's redoing the house. Well, it's got to be a year or so. Is it a year? It took a <sighs> while. The house, like, kind house. of set back so I'm up. I'm thinking it's like a year. Probably. Well, this doesn't that take place during been. Christmas. This takes place during one, you think? Oh man, I don't remember. We'll have, to, we'll, have to take, we'll have to look and see if we notice anything. Okay. All day wise or anything like that. I mean, they got helicopters flying on the bridges. This yeah. is like fucking Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> Only better. <laughs> the South African knockoff of Transformers. I remember this is the first Lethal Weapon I've ever saw. I, I saw Lethal Weapon 1 after this one. Yeah, so did uh, I. I saw this one first. So Zany Mel Gibson was like what I remembered. So when I watched the first Lethal Weapon, like, Holy a couple shit. years ago, I was like, God, well, well, there is a Christmas tree in the back there. Did you notice that? <laughs> I was just like, Riggs is crazy as hell. <laughs> I mean, and here he's kind of comically crazy. And Lethal Weapon 1, he's clinically insane. <laughs> yeah. And this, this one, one, he's totally down a gun in his here. mouth. Yeah. Whoops. Oh, sorry. My cool gun ends. Cougarans! I had to look over the. I, I didn't know what the hell a Cougaran yeah, was. It's, damn, it's gold though. I was like, I want some Cougaran. <laughs> uh, One of the most iconic scores in cinema history, easily. Yeah. Sure, a saxophone and, a, saxophone and an electric guitar. You know, it's a lethal weapon. <laughs> <laughs> 
There you go. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I love start <laughs> yelling at each other. It's fucking weird. Cool. Imagine you're that cop. A random them. cop, like, what the fuck is what wrong with you guys? What's going on here? Like, get a room, you fuckers. This is it, they reenact every time we try and sync audio for our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we always go on three, three. <laughs> Green wire, white wire, blue wire. Holy hair. Christ. That hair is that hair. magical. Between the mustache <laughs> of Murtaugh and the hair of Riz, the mullet. Is, 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 mullet there, is there anything more iconic in a movie than that hair? I know, that's why, that's why when you watch the fourth one, it's like, oh, yeah, God, it's, the oh, hair's Cut gone. the fucking hair. Whose mullet are you taking, though? Are you going to take his mullet or Rambo's mullet? Oh, this one. That's mullet. tough. I'm taking his or my, Rambo's? You taking Rambo's? No, I'm, Rambo. taking, I'm taking this one. Rambo okay. keeps it, doesn't he? Rambo keeps it for I think a while. he keeps it all the way even until the new Rambo. Still, yeah, I think he still has the well. I think he's still walking around with that fucking wing. Yeah. <laughs> this guy well, of course, Captain, because we knew about the fucking helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I was chasing them down, I was like, well, I don't care if they got fucking like, helicopters. Helicopter Captain. right about now. <laughs> I hope this comes in uh, later. Yeah, <laughs> uh, this is called foreshadowing. Never. <laughs> Hey, is that Agent Johnson? Just in time. <laughs> no relation. No relation. <laughs> Don't they have a uh, poker party that ends with a blast? Yeah. <laughs> I, heard, I heard the poker party was a blast. Yeah. <laughs> Your innuendo sucks. I'm feeling really lucky tonight. <laughs> no smoking even then. Ooh. I think at the time I saw this, I was like, what the fuck did he just do? And it's like, oh, yeah, I didn't understand, he I didn't understand what this fucking did shoulder, something man. stupid. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait a minute, he's a superhero. <laughs> I didn't understand what was happening. He took his shoulder out, because that's what they were, that's how it was explained to me. He took his shoulder out. I was like, what do like, you mean? What the, what, maybe he like removed oh, it? Like he made it disappear? <laughs> he's got to pop it back in. Yeah. You know, that's the girl from Aliens right there, too. Is that her? Is that that's, the that's, bitch? No, the lesbian? It's like, hey, so uh, Vasquez. Vasquez, yeah. It's just so weird seeing her with short hair and then long hair. Oh, God. And she's the mom of Terminator 2. <laughs> <laughs> Sigmund Fraud. God. Mm. Whose hair to... is more feathered, hers or his? Uh, how about the guy with the is. afro in the back? There? <laughs> like, what is that? The black afro mullet in the back there? Oh, to the man, left? He's rocking the fuck out of that. That's shit, a fucking that's good like... hairstyle right there. <laughs> that's that last, that last dragon hair going on there. <laughs> Fax machine instead of the, the air. gun just sitting there. Yes. <laughs> there no fucking... <laughs> supposed to put it in your drawer. Fuck that. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. I don't know how to do that though with the coin. I know. Just like Lashif does it too. Yeah. Think so of of the three of us here, I am the only one who has fired Mel Gibson's Beretta from Lethal Weapon. I have fired that weapon. The Mel Gibson not Beretta? The, not the actual one, but I have fired that model was Beretta. It, was it in the dark? Do you know what you actually fired? Uh, no, no. So was yeah. it Mel Gibson was like, come here. I'm going to fire. <laughs> <laughs> Just put your hands on this. And oh, man, this. It's, so, it's hard and black. black. I never no, actually. Yeah, that's I, it. I, I was yeah, you, that's what it Hunter, is. I saw this movie. And I, I saw that it was a gun with a like a little light on it. I was like, "Oh, that looks so cool!" This is like before you know laser scope and stuff. So when I got to fire that gun, like when I in my when I got older, I was like, I was like so fucking psyched. Like, I'm gonna fire Riggs this gun. This is the shit. Because that gun is apparently like the most powerful weapon in the universe. <laughs> it makes the this movie is just a long commercial for Berettas. Yeah. But, I mean, but he can fire it with one hand. And he can fire it with one hand. Take down fucking helicopters with it. It's like the most powerful gun you've ever seen. <laughs> Alright, so no Christmas lights. So it's not Christmas. It's probably like June. You think so? Okay, yeah, because they're, they're repairing the house now. They're repairing it. After after the display in Lethal Weapon 1, which is the biggest crime. I mean, if I was a lawyer for any of these victims. <laughs> <laughs> They break so many laws. The police stand around while one and two cops yeah. murder another man. <laughs> I'll take full responsibility. Break his fucking... Oh. Th- break his fucking neck. 
Get that shit off my lawn. <laughs> Living in a in a giant jiffy bob. It must be very <laughs> hot in that house. Oh, too soon. Too um, soon, Danny Glover. No, too soon in the past. so good about this movie. If I mean, we're, everybody's listening to us right now. You know, a bunch of idiots yammering on about this movie. But if you listen to the fucking back and forth between them two, it's, oh, it's perfect. It's fucking great. gold. The greatest. Con- I, I am adamant to say this is the greatest uh, buddy cop movie ever. This might be the greatest, one of the greatest duos in cinema history. Oh, question. This guy from Rescue Me and Crash. Check my shorts for Christ's sake. For Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that. Guy. That's no. special here. <laughs> this is called a nail gun, Murtaugh. <laughs> oh, what? I like how he's confused about everything. Like, Murtaugh doesn't even know how to like work a TV. Coming up, I like, I like his uh, I, yeah, I like his line that he says like it makes me want to buy a condom. <laughs> it makes me want to buy rubbers right now. <laughs> hey, rubbers right now. <laughs> you got traffic tickets? Why? Can you help me? It's a little less subtle <laughs> than the uh, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. the first movie where he's like <laughs> he's just propping up his daughter at like some kind of whore. I know. And this, uh, you gotta understand, four movies, his daughter has been a, is a whore. <laughs> Goddamn heartbreaker for four movies. <laughs> she didn't look that good in part three, though. I don't like her with the short hair. Like I like Rianne with the yeah, long hair. Isn't Chris Rock banging her in the fourth? Yeah, yeah, I think Chris Rock. And then he it's like the shock, the surprise. Knocks her that's Silent Night, Deadly Night on the TV screen. Uh, no, that's a t- Tales from the Crypt, actually. Uh, uh, the uh, Santa uh, episode with the psychologist, the police psychologist, uh, as one of the oh, people. You're right. Look yep. at that. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> She's she's haunting Mel Gibson. <laughs> I will I will <laughs> diagnose you. I will do it. Yeah, because that all makes sense. Because Joel Silver produced this, but then Joel Silver also produced Tales from the Crypt, and Richard Donner produced Tales from the Crypt. So it's all one giant oh. circle, one giant circle oh. jerk. Circle jerk. <laughs> no, I like that. He hit him in the face. I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, eat this piggy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks so excited. fucking happy. So happy. <laughs> <laughs> that love, great in this yeah. scene. Man. We're like, we're like the really beautiful bond. <laughs> <laughs> now, Nicole was asking gonna... about this. Is is the guy, her boyfriend here, the same guy there? It's not the same no, guy. No, no, different actor, different actor. Okay. So I'm, I'm wondering how the other guy came into like the picture. Her now boyfriend. I went to school with him. Yeah, that's a different dude. He looks similar. Though. It looks. Not all of us look alike, well, Mel Gibson, sorry. Uh, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> Mel Matthew. <laughs> well, those two happen to look very similar. <laughs> Danny Glover doesn't get enough props for his comedic. Take uh, the uh, kids names. upstairs. <laughs> I got a gun. <laughs> yeah. You're with He's, development. <laughs> he might be the funniest person in this movie, Danny Glover. He's fucking funny. Subtle, subtle humor. Subtle humor, yeah, it's not over the top. See, this is how you do like that type of humor without being, you know, gregarious with it. It's very, yeah. very subtle. Good writing. Yeah, this is God. like perfect. This, I, Shane Black did the story, but he didn't do the screenplay for this one. No, he walked out because uh, he wanted to kill somebody off at the end. Oh, cool. okay. Well, we'll, we'll save it. We'll save it for the end. Here. Save that one. Yeah. Somebody gets shot up a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bertal has a gun. Oh, he's a bad shot. <laughs> oh, so fucking good. He has he's afraid gun. of daddy. Your dad murdered a man literally five feet from where he's standing. Yeah. <laughs> I would be afraid of him too. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like this happened 15 years ago. Yeah, he's killed people with like, cold blood. He's stolen grenades right, like, at people. Months ago, right where you're standing. <laughs> Multiple people died here. <laughs> This is a haunted fucking house to yeah, live in. A... <laughs> I wouldn't it, move out of this house. And it only gets worse, though. Yeah. yeah it's just, <laughs> the body count just keeps rising every week. Even, even an Asian family gets stuck into this house. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we? Wait, no, oh, Joe, boy. Oh, Joe Pesci can't sell this house. Nobody can. That's true. <laughs> this guy, um, not the main bad guy. This guy, is, uh, is... Holstead? Oh, man. Holstead? Is it... Has he been in anything else? I don't know. He's been in a lot of things. No, not the, not the main bad guy, the, no. the henchman. The, the henchman guy, yeah. 
Wait, what the fuck? I've only, I, only, I only remember him in yeah, this one. Yeah, this one's remember. God, he's he's in a lot of things. Uh, he's I think he's in uh, Tim Burton's uh, Planet of the Apes too. Um, oh, okay. Since since we're talking, you know, that has coming up soon. Planet of the Apes. Uh, I'm trying to connect everything. Um, <laughs> no, he kind of reminds me a lot of uh, Charlotte Copley a little bit. He's in something else too. Um, uh, Turtles he's too, good. right? Teenage Mutant Turtles too. As what? No, that's, that's not the scientist. Is that the scientist? I don't it? think so. This guy is somebody. I just don't know who the fuck he is. Bitch. Phone check. There you go. Oops. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> no bullets. Wait, what? Wrong movie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Aryan Origin. <laughs> <laughs> this guy goes from this to fucking Mighty Ducks. Mighty Ducks. Where he's, <laughs> I'm watching the Mighty Ducks movie, scared out of my mind. Like, like, this guy's gonna, gonna kill somebody. And he hates he's gonna kids. Kill the kids. He's gonna kill the kids. <laughs> he's racist and a murderer. He sharpens those skates so he can stab them in the neck with them. Kill all of you. <laughs> and starting with Emilio the rest of it. <laughs> in that case, uh, kind of a shitty accent, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I like the little, uh, you have the saxophone in here, but you also have that little weird kind of like drum type of sound to it. It sounds See, like, it electric sounds guitar like... is electric guitar is Mel Gibson's theme, and yeah, saxophone that... is Andy Glover's theme. And when they're in sync together, they play them both. Man. Yes, I've just broken down the fucking Wow, you're good. You're broken down the musical score. Yeah, on that for a second, yes. I'm yamming. Yeah, that, that, calls, that calls texture. Yeah, that was... That was, that was <laughs> you should be paying for this little, fucking commentary. A little deep there, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> he's wearing the same clothes he's wore the last two days. Yeah. <laughs> does, does, does he, does he... Well, I mean, Murtaugh's wife does his laundry for him, so that's fine. That's true. She's, she's probably seen him. She's probably seen him naked and everything too. They probably, probably fucked. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they take a little too far, but all right. <laughs> well, well, they have a moment here. Yeah. Okay. I, I found Drop. the actor. I found the actor. Yes. He was in Secret of the uh, Secret of the Ooze. As yes. ooh. Is that the a, same, that's the same actor? The, 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 same TGR, the TGRI the scientist? Dude, same guy. Uh, it doesn't look like it. He, he looks completely different from this movie. In, 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 me, and, and he was in <laughs> Muddy Talks also. Oh my god. He's, he's in a lot of things. God, he he's looks only... nothing like that guy. I okay. guess we're oh. the same guy. Unless I got it wrong again. This is confusing. Oh, white people this, look alike anyway. This backstory here about Mel Gibson's wife, <laughs> like. Really, I think Mel Gibson plays this really well here. He does because he's like he, he's he's throwing it away, like he's it doesn't bother him. But you can just tell it's like fucking destroying him because the first movie he's on the edge of dis- yeah. self destruction essentially, and now he's got he's kind of gotten over that, but it's still there. It's just, it's just really good performance right here. I think it's also something to do with the fact that he's telling Murtaugh's wife this is like the first time he's ever had like a moment with her. I think. So yeah. it's like he's okay. almost telling her in confidence, like. Yeah. Did he ever tell Danny? He never no, told. That's uh, the thing coming up. Right? That's the thing coming up where it's like, oh yeah, he, uh, uh she found your gold pen, and then she smiles yeah. at him, and it's like, oh, we had a moment that you never had with Murta. And they never bring it up again. Like yeah. that, that, that. It's subtle. I, I mean, you don't think you get that kind of like subtlety and goodness and writing in yeah. like a, a movie like Leap of Up and Two. <laughs> Like, yeah. I mean that's more subtle than any like uh, what a, I think drama subtle. It's yeah. really good. That's that's very nicely played played right there. And it's probably been done many times before, but you got to remember this movie is twenty five years old. Yeah, and it's called <laughs> Lethal Fucking Weapon Two. Weapon, exactly. <laughs> sequel for Christ's sake. I don't think it's the same guy. <laughs> I can't find it. Just is still stuck on this like, Who the fuck really? is this fucking guy? I don't know. I don't know. Is the alcohol or what? <laughs> Look, Justin, come back to us. Come back to us. We got to reel you he's in. Fall, he's falling down a rabbit hole. <laughs> I gotta find this man. <laughs> he's Gerard from the Fugitive. <laughs> so the guy I'm thinking of is David. Uh, is it David Warner? Yeah, David Warner. Yeah, he was in Money Talks and uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles too, and a whole bunch of other shit. And that's not him, is it? No, I, don't think, like I don't think. It looks. That's what, that's what oh, I'm God. thinking. It looks a lot no, like him. I don't think it's David Warner. Talking about. That's not him. That's the guy from Undiscovered Country, the Klingon uh, main dude. It's not the same guy. That guy's British. This yeah. guy's like fucking straight is this, up. Is, is this guy straight up South African? 
I think so. Or German. <laughs> Straight up South Africa. Straight up fucking South, South African stuff. Charlize Theron in this yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> Charlize Theron isn't even that South African. Yeah, she's here, like, here is a house that you never want to sleep in. No, never it's been fucking attempted you know murder. I, I really, I really want to preface and make sure you guys understand. The whole house died here. <laughs> yeah, this is a death house. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, th- 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 describe to me the difference between this scene and any scene in a horror movie. Uh, that the black person lives doesn't die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least first. <laughs> At least first, exactly. <laughs> Brothers never survived in these situations. Look how perfect the duct tape is. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah they were ready duct. for that duct tape. Yeah, was like, they probably practiced that take like 30 times. Yeah. <laughs> Donna, do it again. <laughs> so, I'm getting too old for this shit. <laughs> I'm, your, I'm the same age as you. <laughs> is that a waterbed? That'd be know. very creepy. That'd, That'd be very, like, I can't get up at all. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it was moving pretty good. And I can't understand half the fucking words this guy's saying, except that's, that's what. But I don't even know what he's saying. Bananas, <laughs> fucking bananas. I know. Don't be a don't be a don't be a smart kaffa. Uh, I didn't know what kaffa meant until yeah. I, I, I I watched this movie. I grew up. I, I graduated high school. Still didn't know what it meant. <laughs> Back off. <laughs> Back off. Jonto <laughs> Copley would be a great villain. Yeah, You're, I, I think Matt might have got, came across something there. You would have been, like, I mean, at least he's an amazing villain. But I mean, as like a lethal weapon movie type uh, villain, he'd be perfect. If you're a villain that you don't really understand what you're being, what's they, being said, I think you're a good yeah, villain. So they, were they waiting to come in there? That's <laughs> kind of weird. I don't get that. Were they waiting? I was like, oh, mom and dad are having sex again. Don't go in there. And then these <laughs> two guys like run out with duct tape and yeah, like, masks. They they're like, oh yeah, they must have had a wild night. Yeah, they, I didn't know they were into that. <laughs> Yeah, they're into a whole bunch of... Uh, into that hostage <laughs> sex. Security type shit. <laughs> Yo, shitty accent. <laughs> the greatest description of an well, accent ever. Gotta go to real shitty. <laughs> I like how calm he is. He's almost really too calm. Yeah, it's like, yeah, he like was, maybe, maybe he got a blowjob in the morning from Trish. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I would, I would have had my gun out, like, running after these guys, trying to figure out where they're at. <laughs> Shooting random citizens. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, he's the big winner. <laughs> I'm the big winner. I'm the big winner. <laughs> As you can tell, Matt loves every line Danny Glover says. Oh, it's fucking <laughs> magic. <laughs> now, are you a Leo Getz fan or not? I love Leo Getz. Yeah, I love Leo Getz. I love Leo Getz. Because you, you got to understand. I'm taking I you, don't. No, I, I, don't know. I, I like Leo Getz. I don't have a problem with this, him. I guess this is the first Joe Pesci guy, I think, for most seen. people. I didn't yeah. know he could play a tough guy until, like, way later. He wasn't yeah. written like that, apparently. Uh, he was more... Yeah, he was different. He was, uh, I guess, calmer or something, and it was Pesci that said that he wanted to... Uh, Make him more up, uptown. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he got the idea from, uh, from a Disney World uh, employee... Uh, saying okay, 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 ready? Okay, okay, you know. okay. Okay, 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 okay. See, it's funny because you see this and you're like, oh, Joe Pesci's kind of funny. Then you see him in Goodfellas and Casino, you're like, this guy's a, a fucking, fucking maniac. Murder. Casino is a <laughs> yes. nut job. And here's the amazing thing you don't. Even the duffel bag is a fucking nut job. Yeah, even that. <laughs> and you don't see him anymore. Yeah, you know? he, the last time I saw him was in The Good Shepherd. Yeah, The Good I Shepherd. I saw him in the commercial. That was the last one I saw. Hmm. He probably did Good Shepherd as a favorite of Robert De Niro, and that was it. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah. He was just on the porch, right? Wasn't he just like on the porch? Yeah, like, he was like a very brief scene. He's like an old agent or something like that, or an old informant. <laughs> You're lucky. I have, I, I have to live with. <laughs> I love how he just doesn't give a shit. Yeah, like, he literally tells you, "I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not." Gonna. And that would be his model for the next 25 years. <laughs> I, my greatest role model, right there. <laughs> just don't give a fuck. <laughs> Not into the flannel though, but you know. Uh, oh come on, know, flannel! <laughs> it's hard to rock a flannel, dude. Yeah, he doesn't. Look at Pesci. This After I Pesci can examine the bullets. <laughs> how do you get a personality to own Mel Gibson and Danny Glover at once? God, you just don't get dialogue like this anymore. You don't no. get him in. I mean, little things like that. You know, I'll shoot you. To the, I'll shoot you. You can examine the, the bullets. <laughs> just, the, just the on-screen chemistry with these three guys is. It's, it's unstoppable. It's, it's amazing. A, it's hard to get chemistry between two people, but when you have it with three people, it's even better. Sweet. Perfect. 
It's like, you know, this is like a, the classic, like, almost Three Stooges scene right here. It's like... Yeah. I bet you the kid has an automatic. <laughs> what, what is that, that. Greta? <laughs> I bet you the kid has an automatic. See? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Here you go, right here. This is my, I love this Oh, one. this is a good life. <laughs> Boy. Oh, <laughs> bet you the kid's got an automatic, yeah. have you? Yeah, Greta? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Such a good scene, oh, man. man. <laughs> Why can't we get a cop movie like this? Uh, Come on, Hollywood. Because we need you, robots. You love, you love Maybe a robot don't, cop don't, movie. Say, don't say that, because what they'll do is just redo the first one. Yep. Uh, I, I, I mean... I don't know. With like, <laughs> uh, you know, and he's... You, the whole cast of Saturday Night Live would probably if be get a, if you could uh. get a, If somebody told you to make a Lethal Weapon reboot, who are you getting? I ain't doing Nobody. it. I I'm, I'm, I'm going to boycott it. <laughs> you got to do it, Justin. I'll, I'll you got to do I'll pay it. money, I'm, whatever I'm, money it takes to stop it from happening. I'll pay. Not it. lethal weapon. I'll, I'll come up with something else. I came up I came up with something years ago about two old cops. I was trying to think, wouldn't it be cool to see, like, you know, like, who would be cool to see being two old cops bickering and arguing? You know, you got Adam one. West would be one. or morning, that, Yeah, it would be like an old... Like an older this guy. Is, this is a TV show with Sam Neill and um, the guy from FX, and they're like two old cops. Mm -hmm. I, they're like, I think they're retired, kind of. Yeah, I mean, like that or um, William Shackner and stuff like that. Yeah. Maybe as the uh, the captain. Whoa, shit! I like I like, I like the first the first thing to do is to jump through a window. It's just I have <laughs> the worst window I have ever seen. <laughs> Thank God for the pool. Oh man, I think he's still dead, by the way. But whatever. Yeah, what, if, what if the movie just ended the there? What if the movie just ended there? Yeah. Dead. The end. <laughs> no, it, it kept going, but that, that was the that was the death. The three hours. <laughs> Danny Glover has to go it alone for the next hour. Yeah, a, I'm really too old for this shit. Well, then he gets he gets uh, Agent Johnson to be his partner. Then is it every movie that Mel Gibson falls into a pool? Uh, this is the second movie in a row in the Lethal Weapon series where he falls into a pool. He falls in the water a lot. I can't remember in three if he falls into a pool. Because that'd be great. It's just a, like, a know, thing that keeps on happening. Goes, he, he falls fall? through the, uh, into the, the water there, the ocean. Well, he fall, oh, in, yeah, in, yeah. in part four, he falls off the wharf, off the pier, into the, when he fights yeah. Jet Li. Maybe it's a water thing. Mel Gibson has this water thing. He he, has to, in part three, does he? Water I can't remember fish. in three. I don't, know, I don't remember. I don't think so. He's on ice. Does ice count as water? Yeah, it's frozen. Yeah, it's frozen. It's frozen water. The hell did you say? Any lever got oh, downstairs. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. quick. Is that it a does, does look jacket? exhausted. That is a members only jacket. <laughs> well, it's it's funny. He's he, he's got a quicksilver jacket. Uh, Mel Gibson on that scene yeah. in the on the hotel. You see a quicksilver. Uh, quicksilver. Yeah, so it's like early product placement. There you go. Silver. Works for me. There you go. I wish it was members only. Mr. Gets got this way. Mr. Gets got the plastic floor. The mighty doubles. What are you looking for? I'm looking for plastic. plastic. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's not the same guy. Yeah, it, it looks no, very much like him, though. Who is that guy? Is that his son? <laughs> <laughs> too David Moore Jr. Old. God damn white people look the same. It's <laughs> a problem. This scene right here, I don't know if something on a Pavlov's dog thing. It always yes. makes me hungry as fuck. I don't know what it is. I like <laughs> when I like when it gets the shirt too, and the shirt's really yeah. It's like, <laughs> it's hey, it's thanks a lot, Leroy. It's not Leroy. It's Leo. Leo. <laughs> Just share a bowl. This is some fucking awesome shit right here. This is bad for shit right here. Use some napkins. It's... <laughs> Did uh. This is... Did Mel Gibson take uh, Leo's uh, robe? I think. Was that Leo's robe? No, no. It's, it's, it's very, it's very much Leo like. Yeah, hey, Leo's was silk. This was like cottony. Oh, okay, it's probably Murtaugh's robe. Probably Murtaugh's wife's robe. Yeah. Oh, after, That'd he be great. after he banged That'd be great. her. Nice. <laughs> this is when uh, Joe Pesci explains to the entire free world how yeah. to launder fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is democracy. <laughs> Here's capitalism, kids. Mitt Romney saw this shit like a bunch when he was growing up. <laughs> he lives his life by this movie. Yeah. This scene. This scene, right? <laughs> this entire scene is <laughs> life. <laughs> so 
man. I'm like writing it down. Learning like, shit. Yeah, yeah it's like, man. Right, right. <laughs> okay, okay. Look at the okay. Pentagon. <laughs> Everybody cheats. I would be like, what the fuck is he talking about? Can you please explain to me why his hair is blonde in the next movie? Oh, well, I think he dyed it. It's in... the 90s, man. It's yeah. the 90s. It's a 90s dye. <laughs> I think we all had blonde hair in the 90s. Plus, everybody, like, trusts blonde-haired real estate brokers. Mm. The whole Aryan race type thing, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, why would a Nazi lie to me? Why do I remember it being... <laughs> oh, yeah, it's small. I was like, <laughs> too big. <laughs> a, little, a little small, huh, Leroy? <laughs> I bet you it's softer. <laughs> I mean, what a fucking... <laughs> what is that about? I don't know. I don't know. He had an hemorrhoid. <laughs> <laughs> he just has shirts he's all just, over the... Yeah, he, he just, just got... leaves flannels all he's over like, the house. He's like Bruce Wayne. He's got suits all over the fucking city. <laughs> He knew he had a brawny shirt somewhere in this yeah. house. <laughs> Where's my flannel? My wife's wearing it. What? Wait. <laughs> and my daughter. Oh, my God. Daughter. My horse daughter. Goddamn heartbreaker. <laughs> heartbreaker. <laughs> oh, there, there was a classic uh, shake out of the face. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a killjoy. You're black. I'm back. I'm mad. Mad. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> this might be the closest to actual Mel Gibson of a character as Mel Gibson has ever played. Yeah. I mean, not Bra not William Wallace. But, maybe uh, the payback guy. <laughs> maybe yeah, the payback maybe, guy. Also. Maybe. <laughs> Porter, maybe. Maybe. Porter. Maybe who he's going. Maybe who he's going to play in the the Expendables. Oh yeah, it's true. Maybe. <laughs> or no. true. I hope we get Zany Mel Gibson in that one. Oh god. Get, give me give me Riggs Mel Gibson. There's weird there's weird shit that happens in this scene. There's like a guy towing the car, but then there's this white woman bitching about her car being towed. Like why do you think they threw that in there? Is there a reason for that? All foreshadowing to the to the action scene that might happen in the next Yeah, I, I yeah. But it's like why is this surfing you woman USA. bitching? Surfing I don't know. It just confuses me a little bit. Like, why did you put that in the in the scene? It's Richard Donner. Don't overthink it. I guess. I mean, there's there is there is, <laughs> there is a lot of great detail in this film. <laughs> hey, there's got to be a point to that woman bitching about her fucking car. I should say I should save this for simply ashamed. But I, I again. Um, I didn't know what that thing was. I thought, it was making, <laughs> I thought it was making money. I didn't understand what was happening. It's a money maker? <laughs> a money maker? I'm one of those fucking things. <laughs> it just beats the shit God, out of me. hitting a fucking head. Have you ever been hit with, like, fucking piping? That hurts a uh, lot. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with that mad Australian guy. Yeah, fucking mad <laughs> fucking max. Come yourselves. Come yourselves, come yourselves. <laughs> Jesus. Kind of regret doing that. Huh? Yeah. That was a bad idea. Just jump off the side. <laughs> Rick doesn't do a lot of thinking about his consequences, possibly. <laughs> like, when did the guy just shoot Rick? <laughs> Could you imagine bullets. if that was the end? They don't yeah. bullets away in this movie. <laughs> they don't need bullets at all. <laughs> it's a surplus of guns. It's funny, there's a, a lot of gun shooting, but a lot of people get killed by not gun-related activities. Yeah. <laughs> Surfboards, car doors, <laughs> uh, fucking a, 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 a giant shipping container. <laughs> as brutal as this next scene is about to be, it is nowhere near as brutal as no. the, clo the, 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 the door-closing scene on the head coming up. Or oh. later in the movie. Oh, yeah. That is one of the most brutal deaths I have yeah, ever seen. Yeah, I'm like, holy seen. fuck. Shit, that guy's destroyed. Yeah. He destroyed him. His brain <laughs> fell out a little bit. You should hang it on the truck. <laughs> Leo, get the fuck off me. <laughs> get in the car. Police business, please. The police business, fucking guy. Oh, boy. I mean, they are the worst cop. They took a witness to a goddamn shootout. Yeah, I don't know. 
It's the eighties, man. Yeah. <laughs> the eighties, no laws. <laughs> the fucking Wild West. I mean, why an Earp wouldn't do this shit? <laughs> no. <laughs> Very reminiscent of like a uh, what a uh, what a uh, Raiders of Lost Ark. It's a very Raiders scene, yeah. yeah. I like this scene a lot. It's, it seems cool. I like this guy. I guess, hello, asshole. <laughs> More I think about it, I think this is essentially the Raiders scene. Yeah, this is pretty much the fucking uh, the Jeep scene. Woo. How do you miss him? I, I don't know how you miss him. Like, he's South, literally South Africans don't living. have uh, any concept of. Shooting a gun. And his bullet, his gun only has three bullets. <laughs> I mean, Riggs could have died multiple times. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so How far. Did they see this gun, by the way. I don't know. It's like they saw it. It's a Beretta. How could you fucking miss it, I guess? Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that fucking shit. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, on the tow truck. <laughs> meanwhile, Indiana, Indy is making it up as it goes along. <laughs> Indiana Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> I was close. Leo, will you shut the fuck up? Fuck up. I'm driving the station wagon for Christ's sake. <laughs> Surprised I'm not going in reverse at this yeah, point. Yeah, but look, they, they caught up pretty good. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Well, I mean, Leo's like, yeah, come on, come on, go faster. <laughs> Do we get the first, uh, the first James Bond slash Arnold Schwarzenegger catchphrase coming up soon? Uh, yeah, actually we do. <laughs> now this is, this is ridiculous. Yeah, I, I mean, okay. <laughs> this is crazy, this right yeah. here. <laughs> I mean, he could, he could drive it off the cliff and jump out. <laughs> yeah, he could yeah, kill, that's... kill Riggs. Or he could just ram it. Ram it into, into any car. one of these cars. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't know he's on the front at this point. I like how the bad guy, like, figures to check his mirror really quick. Like, let me check the mirror. Yeah, Ooh, who's behind me? Oh, the blind spots sure here. Hands are at 10 and 2. Shit. <laughs> this is okay. fantastic. This is amazing. This is amazing death right here. Yeah, this is like this is like some Final Destination shit right here. Yeah, this is some Final Destination. <laughs> death, uh, death was, on the, was yeah. responsible for this one. Oh! I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Phone some check. Fucking surfboard. <laughs> <laughs> and the rider truck is like yeah. everybody in the audience like what the fuck <laughs> it's like how I mean, did that happen <laughs> wipe out there you go there's, out. Just, there's your roll. fucking catchphrase <laughs> Roger Roger brutally murdered that guy yeah <laughs> he, he's the reason yeah he didn't do I mean Mer- Briggs didn't do shit <laughs> yeah you just saw <laughs> explain to what we just saw just, you, you just, just saw Roger what we just saw Roger just ripped a guy's head off with a surfboard <laughs> using some mousetrap shit. Oh, Jesus. He's the most sinister person I've ever yeah, seen on the screen. He's the biggest bastard. He is. Roger kills people in this movie very badly. Yeah. He he he's like he's he's like he fired a gun without even having to pull the trigger. Mm-hmm. With no remorse whatsoever. Like, oh man, I shouldn't have done that. No, nah, fuck that. Death. Death. <laughs> here, comes the, uh, down here, here comes the. Uh, you, uh, now, honestly, when you first saw this, did you understand what the hell diplomatic immunity meant? No, uh, I didn't even know what a fucking South African was. <laughs> you didn't even know what Africa was. It was like, South Africa. I'm from America. <laughs> it was America and Europe, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. South Africa. It's like, there's no, a I South Africa? Work. There's an Africa and a South Africa? <laughs> We're professional <laughs> police officers. We're professional police officers. We do this for a living. <laughs> You're the worst professional <laughs> police so officer. so fucking good. I also like uh, coming up the Chicago rigs is... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Should we? Should we? Uh, I know we did for Batman. We did a gadget counter. Should we do how many times uh, Roger sweats? Oh God! Oh, God. Of, I, 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 I I, I'd mean, run out of fingers and toes. <laughs> We're out of fingers. I, I can't even count that high. He doesn't look that sweaty right now. He looks pretty cool, calm, and collected right now. Actually, he's a little shiny though. He has some I mean, off. he is in L.A. I mean, you got to give him some props. Yeah. yeah. Keeping it together. Reeks. Yeah, Chicago Reeks. <laughs> Peter Vaughn, we'll just call you asshole. asshole. Oh, you fucking Adolf. Adolf. <laughs> I mean, it's, how do you jump from South Africa to fucking Nazis? Because you sound like a fucking Nazi. I like to throw the fucking passport on the floor for this guy. Yeah, that, that's fucked up. Throws it on the like, ground. It's an asshole. Now I gotta pick it up. Didn't they do that in Expendables 2, which is Statham and the other guy? <sighs> Hand it to me nicely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember much from that film. 
The Chuck Norris showing up. Sorry. Quit it. You give me a parking ticket. I think diplomatic oh, immunity only extends the parking tickets, but whatever. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, this guy's pretty this sure somebody from Africa is going to come over here and just start murdering people. Say, hey, 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 hey I'm a diplomat. I think I we can't. need to have a South African on the show. You think so? Do, do you know any? <laughs> I know any. I, maybe I'll get Josh Ackerman here, the uh, uh, Adolf or Arian, whatever his name is. Can we just get that? Can we just get David Warner in here and tell us if that is? Yeah, that's him. Is that you? It's not me. I'm English. Yeah. <laughs> I'll eat this fucking thing. Is that Johnson? <laughs> that's, no, Johnson walked away a second ago. That's the guy from. Uh, isn't that the guy from the first uh, Bad Boys? That I think so. Yeah. Guy? Yeah. I should always work sometimes. <laughs> Smooth rig. <laughs> Hello. Hey, how you doing? Well, there you go. That's smooth. I mean, his first meeting, he headbutts a chick. Yeah. Well, she'll see her. Well, they'll see her tits later. Think about her. <laughs> it's all that matters. That's all that matters. Since this movie? Uh, I don't know. was she like a I model. To, uh, what's her name? Patsy? I think her name is. Is she, is she the Rose Huntington really of uh, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Showed up. She's been she's been at a few things. She's got like a Debbie nothing, Harry. Nothing that no one saw. Look to her. She kind of got a Jean a Jillian uh, Anderson look to her. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little Jillian Anderson, a little Deborah Harry. Come here, stop. Come here, dog. <laughs> she has a fucking dick. <laughs> Have you ever played hockey before? Arjun Arian? Whatever the fucking name is. Just fucking call you Adolf. <laughs> Teach them to fly, Riggs. Foreshadowing. <laughs> yeah, well, not really. Yeah, well, no, you just basically <laughs> told him. Well, yeah, not even. He didn't make it there. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. Uh... <laughs> what the fuck's Leo doing in the back there? He's just kind of hanging by the car. That's what he does throughout the whole movie. I guess he just, just hangs in the back. <laughs> just hangs in the back. <laughs> 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 All I how know is that there's a dead this? fucking guy with a surfboard. How do you explain this to anyone? Your superior officer. Yeah, uh, uh, surfboard boss. Surfboard killed him. Surfboard killed him. <laughs> I like how Riggs is like, well, Mel Gibson's like real accent comes out every now and then. It's like, he's I like doing... the Disney map. The yeah, Disney yeah, map like, in the back. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> the hell is that? I don't know what they're doing. I guess they go on vacation. <laughs> is that a map of uh, South Africa or something? Would that be useful? Can we use this? Where is he exactly from? <laughs> is he trying to hide it? Looks like we're trying to hide something here. Dude, they're getting yelled at for shit that's actually shit to get yelled at for. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> you put a witness on a fucking... Uh, 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 oh, fuck. <laughs> He's not worried about the fucking surfboard. The guy was waving a gun. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, oh, uh, no, you, you, gotta, you gotta admire the uh, you know the, the time it takes. Go spit. Not a condom, yes. though. Yeah, some of them are blowing up. So some people had their lips on those condoms to blow them up. I just love the fact that he laughs at this because I mean yeah. every other he wouldn't laugh at this. Yeah. They would cut. He would just get angry. But yeah. the fact that Glover is so human there, he just laughs at it. It's, yeah. it's perfect. Well, because he just ripped the guy's face off with a skateboard. He just murdered a man. That'd be a little levity here. Cutting, you know how traumatized I would be if I saw a man literally get his head ripped off by a surfboard? Five I, minutes after, Danny Glover's laughing. <laughs> I kind of wish, like, the scene, the condom <sighs> scene came after the surfboard. Instead of saying, like, I have a gun, he could have said, I ripped the guy's face off with a surfboard. <laughs> I think it would have worked better. <laughs> See, there's scenes in this movie like this scene that's like, I don't, I mean, I, I understand it's for exposition purposes, but okay. I love how they play that little African instrument. Yeah, I love that little didgeridoo or something, whatever it is. <laughs> like wind chime instrument. Didgeridoo, I think that's I Australian. <laughs> well, South African, Australian. Uh, it's one of those, what, what did they have at the World Cup in uh, 2014? The uh, oh, Vuvuzela. Vuvuzela. Yeah. <laughs> A little different sounding. But yeah, well, you know, close enough. Look at that fucking look in his eyes. That's like, I'm going to rape you devils. with your eyes. He looks like Satan in this shot. 
I have to go. Co- I have to coach a hockey team now. <laughs> I have to meet with Emilio Estevez after this. I have to teach him how to fly. <laughs> I'm, I'm amazed he's still alive. Yeah. That guy's not alive. Yeah, I think he's alive. I think he was 90 when this movie came out. Well, he's the fuck, he's, he's, he's Satan. He's the devil. Devil was forever. Okay. So many baby fetuses. <laughs> he was in the Hunt, uh, Hunt for Red October and uh, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Well, I think he was he, yes, was he, he death. Was. No, no, you know who's you know who was death in Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey was uh, the guy yeah. from Die Hard Two, <laughs> the bad guy, uh, the guy the guy from Shawshank. Oh, Sadler. At, uh, yeah, Sadler, Sadler. William Sadler. Yeah. <laughs> Subway product placement. Michael yeah. Bay was not the first one to do this. It's the second time we've seen Subway, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta pay for the movie somehow. Mm. I think we should be making more of a count of product placements in this. We've seen Pepsi, Subway, uh Goal, um Got a duct tape. <laughs> it's tuna. I don't eat tuna. You can't eat tuna. Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Just shut up. They clearly don't listen to him. No. <laughs> and they just tell him to shut up. <laughs> One of the most famous speeches ever. Yeah. I don't like how they did the callback in part four with cell phones. Like, it was a little that was kind of too much. I didn't like anything he did with Chris Rock. No, nah, it was not forced. Yeah. I do like what I do like about the cell phones is what Riggs says to him at the end. Oh, he calls him on the phone to shut the fuck up? Yeah, that shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> That part was the only part of it I liked, was him saying, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's, like, so angry, too, at the same time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, god damn it, I've been hearing this shit for three fucking movies enough. Oh, this is great. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey. He's got ax- yeah. his jacket on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> This has to be one of the greatest trolls in cinema history. <laughs> Mel Gibson? Yeah, he's, he's, he's trolling the man. shit out of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. You going to Subway? <laughs> I'm going to Subway. Uh, you don't have a tent, so it doesn't really... Yeah, I know. It's like, I don't want to hear you. <laughs> oh, my God. He almost murdered him. <laughs> so you're telling me if you would have hit those two people... Did the <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's like, I, I can kill anybody, too. Oh my god. Here he is again. <laughs> he's fast. Yeah, he's he good. Fast. He knows these streets of LA better than anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not even saying anything. He's just like, hey, what's up, bitch? What's up, bitch? What's up, bitch? <laughs> oh, man. Get rid of that man. Like, like, how did he know? Get rid of that man? That, that specific that? man. There's 7,000 people outside. Like, guess what, bitch? Cop. Oh, shit. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I like the African guy in the back of the dashiki. Good style choice. <laughs> the morning faxes. Oh my god, faxes. <laughs> the morning <laughs> faxes. Look at, that. Look at that. that. That's a very Bruce Willis shot of him yeah. right there. <laughs> and then, hey. <laughs> <laughs> he, he does. She's all moist. Donner told yeah, him he's Bruce Willis fucking, and then do Mel Gibson. He's so going he, to the bathroom to the flicker bean right now. Oh my so god! You gotta, so gotta go damp it because oh, it's yeah. wet between my legs. Right? <laughs> I need a new pair of pantyhose. Now, who's this fucking random person on the beach over there? Fishing? Yeah, fishing. Richard Donner. Okay, maybe. Probably Roger. It might be. Yeah. Hey Sam, why do you bite the oil for me? <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I like this big guy. <laughs> I Me, mean, I'm gonna. Uh, is it odd that Mel Gibson's uh, got Lassie as a pet? Uh, no, no, not at all. It doesn't seem like a, a like a like a Riggs type of dog to have. I think it's probably a stray dog he found though. It's too pretty of a dog, I think. The dog's too pretty. Uh, I guess. What kind of dog would you think he had? Like a bulldog, like an ugly dog, like a mean-looking ugly dog, dog or a rottweiler or something. I guess that's supposed Didn't... to be like the Jeff's position between him and uh, 
the dog, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Didn't Rene Russo have the uh, Rottweiler? The Rottweiler. Well, he, like, uh, like pretty much said, I'm going to teach this Rottweiler to love me. <laughs> One of my favorite parts in that movie, by the way. This might be. <laughs> yeah. God, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this scene coming up here. Is this um, one of the most homoerotic scenes in action movie history? I, I got a question for you. Do you think he shit and didn't flush? Yeah. Uh, I would. You wouldn't? Come on. Then that makes this whole scene way worse. Yeah, because you're, 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 you're like, sit there he's been, been on What the fuck did you eat? He's been on it. Like, how long has he been on it? For, since the morning, right? He's been over there for at least 16 hours, maybe. Yeah, hours. He's got to. Got to go. You got to go. But, I mean, did you, did, you, did you flush? Did you reach back and flush? Uh, I don't know. Is it Kenya? Stink? Was the bomb connected to it? I think. I don't know. I don't, I don't know where that, I mean, maybe, maybe maybe that's the whole thing. It's like they wanted him to just sit in the bathroom smelling his own shit. <laughs> that was the real torture. Enough. Yeah, that's torture enough. So. <laughs> I'm getting too old to shit. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this shit, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Read my saltwater fisherman magazine. <laughs> Trying to masturbate. <laughs> jerking off. Trying to think about my daughter. He's goddamn he's jerking off. He's jerking off the saltwater fishing. <laughs> yeah. oh, Seems God. like what he would do. Dolphin. It's a Roger thing. <laughs> Where the hell did you get Axel Foley's jacket from? I don't understand. Does he have like a towel over his legs too? What yeah. What the fuck is that? I guess he gets sweat. Uh, I, 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 I guess he gets sweat. Danny sweaty. Glover's dick hanging what out. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I guess. But well, you no, know, when you take a shit, your dick is in the toilet area, like covered yeah. by your legs. Like, not. I mean, unless he has a huge cock. I don't know. It's Danny Glover. Yeah, he's. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he's what like, the hell did Mel Gibson think Mel he was Gibson's doing? Like, this is a fucking joke? <laughs> If anything, he's trying to keep him fucking calm, maybe, at this point. But, like, what did he actually think was the problem? If he didn't think I, he was I, this, I don't know. This is a hor- This is the worst-case scenario, Mel I, What do you think he was coming to be proposing to you? <laughs> <laughs> you mean, you, you guys love this thing? I, I love this thing. I like it yeah. a lot. Yeah, because it's, like, it's it's so unique. Because, like, if, if you if they did a movie like this nowadays... It would just never be in there. This never. would never be in there. Because it's, like, yeah. it's got, like, no... I mean, it's got a point, but... It's it's so it's still it, exposition purposes for it's, it's original it's original it's so original yeah I mean they could have said uh, he could have been in his car he could have been anywhere yeah. and this nobody would have thought about putting a bomb in a toilet that went only in South twenty five years it ago. would just it would just be like they would go after his family and like kill his family yeah, yeah. and be like we killed your, your family. Wife. Like it did in the first movie. We got your wife and your kid yeah. or your daughter or what the hell. And... This seems almost like an embarrassment thing. It's like we're gonna make you die in the shitter. We're gonna Fuck shame you. you. Yeah. <laughs> well, they do kill everybody later on. They have very interesting ways of killing everybody later on in the movie. All the cops. <laughs> They're <laughs> very ingenuous. These, these ass yeah. off assholes. Yeah. They really like to kill you weird. <laughs> yeah. First, we're gonna kill one guy upside down. Then we're gonna kill you by a pool. Then we're gonna kill, kill you at a poker game. From Batman. We're gonna kill him <laughs> first. <laughs> kill Michael Phelps' sister. And... <laughs> and think about this. What well, same year as Batman actually with the hanging upside down? So. <laughs> And these are both Warner Brother movies, Batman and Lethal Weapon, too. That's true. You gotta think, again, this house has seen yeah, some, some serious shit. shit. <laughs> yeah, it's about to see some shit, too. When the exactly. toilet flies up. What the fuck? Look, you're doing? a psychiatrist, but I'm a fucking space marine, bitch, so shut the fuck up. I'm a space marine. I got a fucking pulse cannon. <laughs> <laughs> like, I sh- what? Did she see something she didn't like, maybe? I don't know. She saw his uh, naked legs. And... I, I love that. I love that. Right there. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Murtaugh does, does a lot of, like, smiling in this. Like, this bad fucking situation. So, like, yeah, well, I'm just laughing it off, I guess. Why they why they take why they take the sink? I don't know. Like, I <laughs> they had to get they had to get more room for him. More to room. Move. If this yeah. fucking bathroom's gonna blow up, I'm taking that fucking sink. That's a good sink. <laughs> it's marble, bitch. I would have put a put the thing on him, right? Yeah. <laughs> Love that look. It's like I gotta see his dick. I haven't seen it yet. Does it have to I, say a word? Yeah. If I if I, if he dies, I die. I love yeah. that.
That's a lot of C four, man. I don't know if uh, uh, if that Wait, bomb. This is a good. This is a good cast iron uh, cast iron tub because cast I mean, iron stops I, everything. I, that, Eighteen that's, hours. That's three bricks of C four. That blew up the Nakatomi roof. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, the bomb blanket helps everything. I guess I don't know. We don't, don't care. Fuck tell me. I'm going to tell you what works here. Give Thank you one you. to two seconds. Yeah. Two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> they gotta have mercy on your ass. Random guy who can't. <laughs> random bomb guy who can't get up. <laughs> <laughs> What's he say? Lights out. Couldn't they uh, pull some Indiana Jones, like uh, switch the weight of a person with an object? If you remember Indiana Jones, that didn't work. Well, <laughs> and he got chased out of maybe, a fucking building with a rock. this is the original refrigerator <laughs> exactly scene. Exactly my point. <laughs> I think this is the original refrigerator scene. Yeah. 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 Probably. Or at least this is the original the Golden Idol scene. So this is two Raiders uh, thievery scenes so yeah. far. <laughs> There's a lot of Indiana Jones in this movie. Nothing wrong with that. But, you know, to be honest with you, when you, like, you, you watch The Rock. In The Rock, Sean Connery dives into a bathtub and a grenade blows up right next to him. He's fine. Right next to him. So I guess bathtubs and, and, are pretty and strong. The with, and The Punisher with yeah. Thomas Jane. Same, a yeah. fucking grenade right next to him. He's perfectly fine. Well, he's all fucked up, but the tub's fine. I mean, I, re- I mean, this scene, I really love this moment right here. I mean, they got really intimate in the first one, but something about this is this, like, <laughs> my, yeah. your life in my hands, I refuse to leave kind of thing. Yeah, there's a lot more of this in this than the first one. Because now they have a relationship now. The closest they got in the first one was when he's like, <laughs> we put it in your mouth. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, trying to kill him, and he's, like, had to stop him from shooting himself <laughs> in the face. <laughs> Oh, well, there you go, Justin. He is sweating right now, so yeah, he marked this as uh, number 12 or something, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Why would there be a towel rack over the toilet? Uh, in, I don't know. in case you're out of toilet paper, you can grab a towel to wipe your ass, maybe. There's like two. Oh, yeah, there is. There's a small ring and a big ring. Why are we trying to design this hand towel? Well, we're trying to understand the design, design decisions in the uh, 1980s. But there's like that another. Part, ah, that, don't even that, get started. That part right there, they don't really say anything. It's like, yeah, I know, it's like, man, I know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I got it. Let's just go. <laughs> On three. You don't get that from Buddy Cop movie. I, no. I don't even think you got that from Bad Boys, really. No, you didn't get that in Bad Boys. I'm like, a little bit in part two, but not really that much. Yeah. Boom. Boom, shit all over your fucking car. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, okay. Do you think that's the same tub that everybody jumped in into the tub with uh, Murtaugh? Remember that? Uh, or Trish jumped in the tub with Murtaugh. Was that part three? Yeah. Oh, the, same same math. the whole family jumped in the tub together. Jumped and was like, bathroom. this is weird. Well, that had a mirror. That had like a big mirror. Oh, yeah. Maybe that was a master bathroom. This yeah, is like, I think it was a uh, hallway bathroom type thing. Or maybe after this bathroom blew up, they re- remember they remodeled the entire bathroom. So. Maybe the remodeling Just came move out of sure. this godforsaken home. So many bad <laughs> things have happened here. I'm sure insurance covered all of it, though. Does insurance cover I terrorism? Insurance agent. I, I wouldn't even insure this house anymore. <laughs> Just, they don't cover bombs. Oh, okay. Or, or Gary Busey. <laughs> or uh, <laughs> Jet Li. We don't no. cover any of these. <laughs> we don't cover human cause. <laughs> Who, who are you an enemy with? Gary Busey? No, sir. We can't cover you. No, I'm sorry. We'll never sorry, cover sir. you again. <laughs> <laughs> Is this what in there? Feels like it's what? He's the glistening a little bit. Must be some mistake. <laughs> very you know, I think Very uh, tense. Yeah, this is like it's kind of tense, but at the same time, I almost think the white guy's like trying to help him, like Look, you don't want to fucking go to South Africa because it's bad for you people right now. <laughs> yeah, it's true. He's got. It's like, kind of true. It's honestly, like, I'm not going to South Africa, I, I am, and I'm white. <laughs> <laughs> I am South African. I'm not going back. Yeah. I'm thinking of LA. I'm loving it. I'm loving it here. <laughs> the only thing I gotta worry about in LA is the cops, and they hate they hate black people. 
<laughs> one man, one boat. <laughs> Dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> You gotta understand how big Danny Glover is. He's a giant <laughs> what is the most big guys? He's like seven feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> Danny Glover's a big dude. <laughs> I mean, when the henchmen come, you know, the, usually the henchmen are like double the size of the, yeah, the Danny hero. Danny Glover's a fucking henchman. Danny Glover's like towering over them. I'm not sure. We're all under a fucking fence. <laughs> 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 I like Leo as a hype man. I think of Leo as like the flavor flav of the uh he's the, the he's a white beast flav. Yeah. <laughs> Riggs, flavor of Leo. Riggs is Terminator X and uh Danny Glover is yeah. like the My God. He's got the flag involved. Got the fucking flag. Oh, what is this? <laughs> you know it's serious when there's a flag involved. Oh yeah. It takes seven guys to get Danny Glover yeah. out of there. Look at, look, at, look at that mullet. Look at that. That's a fucking mullet right oh my there. God. That mullet ain't... That's a super uh, mullet. Dude, Rick, Riggs I, isn't I, fucking I, with that mullet. Damn, I never realized there was an epidemic of mullets <laughs> in the 80s as bad as I thought it was. I mean, Riggs, was, his was straight Bowie. Yeah. <laughs> that was a Bowie mullet. Sarah. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> Come to the mullets. Goblin King mullet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this guitar guy is going... Clapton and this guy yeah. <laughs> going... <laughs> Who is it? Clapton? Who did... Uh, David, Sa- David Sanborn this? did the sax, yeah. right? Yeah. I, I'm assuming. I think it was David Sanborn. I want to know who does the fucking South African things. Boom. It's the guy. The guy must be crazy. He's yeah, maybe it's, a, it's the black guy. He's using a Coke bottle. <laughs> He'll do the Big Lebowski thing. Oh. That's <laughs> 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 big Zachary penis. Drawing dicks all day. <laughs> drawing dicks all day. Look at that fucking mullet, too. Look at that. I don't know if that's a mullet, though. That could be close. the door. Yeah. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the master race. <laughs> I think this is my favorite scene in the entire movie right here. He looks like Kato Kalin, the other guy. Yeah, he does. He's got the Kato look. He's got the Kato look. Look at that guy. Kato and Fabio. Okay. This guy gets fucked up. This guy looks like George uh, Greg Kinnear. <laughs> he gets Greg fucking all... laid down. What do you got there? South Africa. Where'd you get that from, South Africa? God damn, it's so fucking good. <laughs> God, God damn, that's so fucking good. They don't. <laughs> Greg Kinnear got his nose yeah. brushed. <laughs> I got a bad reputation. Sometimes I go nuts. <laughs> the poster right there. <laughs> I'm gonna make a deal with you. <laughs> <laughs> This had to have not been written. This couldn't have been written. I mean, look at this. This is the most Republican statement. Yeah. Get the fuck out of my country. country. I'm going to fuck your ass. Get out of my country I'm going to fuck your ass. God, that's like offensive on so many levels. I don't know. It's like, I'm going to go gay to get you out of this fucking country. (laughs) (laughs) And I hate gay people. (laughs) I hate, I hate all people. Yeah. I mean, that might have been Mel Gibson ad living there. <laughs> hey, Mo! <laughs> Pick him up. Pick him up, you idiot. Pick him up with your hands. Use your hands. <laughs> oh, here's the best. This is how you end the fucking conversation right here coming up. <laughs> Big smile. Big smile. <laughs> Big smile. Big smile. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we should be laughing so much in a fucking hardcore, gritty cop movie like this, but we are. <laughs> because it's maybe one of the funniest fucking movies ever. This is the fucking action. Shooting the breeze. Shooting, shooting some fish. Shooting shoot some fish. <laughs> and she's wet again. Oh, she's yeah, like, oh she, my god, I gotta take my like pantyhose again? Fuck. She wearing the same outfit she's been wearing every scene she's been. Maybe she enjoys well, being like a little wet not. down there. You get one outfit and that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> 
She's like Alfred. She's like the Alfred for Ari. He's big. <laughs> He's big. That's <laughs> when Leo kind of gets in with the three of them. They, they yeah, kind of finally, like... yeah. <laughs> Shrug. <laughs> oh god, so fucking classic. Nah, oh, that's it. They really are the Hitler clique. I know they, they, they're like fuck Nazis, fuck South Africa, Jesus. <laughs> Let's see, it's on me. Oh, oh shit! It's fucking on now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's like, ah, no, no, okay, let's free. Okay, this thing, oh fuck that. Let's go. <laughs> this is fucking. Hell. I mean, Ooh, you, don't, I, you don't even need this Leo, for the movie. You could have cut this scene out. Yeah, but it's but so good. <laughs> it's so Leo. It the just adds misery. This fucking car. Just hands up his watch. It's so good. Volstead. <laughs> <laughs> <Bullstead. laughs> Some Volstag right there for the yeah, fucking Vol- Thor. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe he's uh, yeah. She's wearing the exact same yeah. outfit. She will not change her outfit. Well, this is her shopping outfit. She puts a little yeah. like uh, the little uh, thing, yeah, the hand- handkerchief in her pocket. Yeah, <laughs> that's her shopping outfit. Officer Fakes, you're fucking stopping. Actually, I'm so mad right now. He's been on a lot of things. The guy that we thought was uh. The guy from... Uh, we thought it was David Warner? Yeah, David Warner. He's, he's in, This guy was in End of Days, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, Daredevil. Where what? the fuck was he in Dead Man's Chest? What, what's this guy's yeah. name? What's his name? Elias, Monk, Derek O'Connell. Derek O'Connell. Where is, is he from South Africa? South from Africa? Ireland. Oh, Ireland. Okay. Another shitty Maybe he dubbed him. Maybe he Darth Mauled his voice. Maybe. Ugly. That's a nasty ass pumpkin they got up there. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's Halloween. <laughs> mm, that makes sense. Could maybe. be October. Could be October. So it's been almost a year since uh, Gary. Well, well, you see Thanksgiving. Year. You see the turkeys up there. Maybe it's Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's got to be November. Yeah, okay. You so, figured it out. Damn you, it. Found, you fucking cracked the code. Yeah, you see, you you fucking detectives. You are horrible cops, but you're good detectives. <laughs> yeah, well, you yeah. know. <laughs> here's your gun. Here's your badge and your gun back. <laughs> your Get out there, <laughs> Polizzi Stewart, in my office. <laughs> well, God damn it! Anywhere. <laughs> I fucking hate you, but god damn it, I respect you. <laughs> you fucking hate you too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a, 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 an amazing chill, Stewart and Polizzi. Stewart I'm the beat. Polizzi. Well, it sounds, it sounds kind of like Rizzoli and Isles a little bit. Rizzoli and Isles. It's Rizzoli, Rizzoli, Pelizzi, Piz- Rizzoli. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't think Justin wants to be associated with that fucking show. <laughs> yeah, who would? It's like shut the fuck up. I'm so wet. You don't let people know. He just, he just destroys this like guy's yeah. business. Yeah, it's like motherfucker. I'm just trying to run a legit business here with vegetables, and you're dumping shit on the ground. Crazy lunatic. <laughs> I mean, now, let's understand Riggs's plan here. It's to destroy, fuck with her uh, boss by fucking his secretary. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good revenge. In a very stalkerish, rapey way. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Like, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not going to take no for an answer. Pretty much he said, I'm not going to take no for an answer. <laughs> Crushed Oreos. Yeah, I haven't tried that yet, but I think I might try it now. Are you are you a big fan of this whole like kind of like love story they try to set up between them? I, I understand it, but it's just kind of. Like... I do. I like it because his whole thing is about his wife, right? So yeah, the fact of the matter is he seems to finally go past that finally and yeah. meets a girl and without spoiling anything, yeah, we'll keep it. Goes yeah. away. Look at that. Though. That's it fucking pops out awesome right there. I wish I could always wanted to do that. Yeah. Highly doubt he did it for real, but yeah, you know. well, I'll give him credit. Where credit is kind of due, I guess. He's really Mel Gibson. Gibson. Yeah. As, as as crazy as Mel Gibson is, a lot of the crazier things he does in the movie, I will believe it was him. <laughs> yeah, maybe. How much cocaine do you think was on the set of this movie? Oh, not a lot. I mean, I don't, I don't think, think so? Mel Gibson's a. 
I don't think Gibson's a druggie. I think he's more of a drinker than a, oh, than yeah? a drug oh, addict. Okay. This is L.A. This is L.A. in the 80s, so there might have been a lot of cocaine. I, yeah, I was about to say, there should <laughs> be a lot of cocaine in the 80s. with the cocaine. Again, she's wearing... The same outfit. But don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, kids. It, she won't be wearing it for long. <laughs> Wait, maybe she will be wearing it forever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she might be wearing it for the rest maybe. of her life. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, it's Bruce Wayne. The black Bruce Wayne. Black Bruce Wayne. The porn stash. I thought this was Danny Glover. With the yeah, I thought it was, was too. Like, I was like, holy shit, they killed Danny Glover? <laughs> God damn, it was, it was so unceremonious. Yeah. Here's where the weird deaths of, uh, here's where the weird deaths begin. I'm going to kill you upside down. That's Dead. why there was, uh, they never sold too good. <laughs> I guess not. contraptions. <laughs> yeah. like, I could, I, somebody could break into my house and shoot me in the head. This is the most extreme, probably. Yeah, this is like, God, this takes they, some they didn't fucking... all this. Where do you even put, the, where did the bomb, where was the bomb? Ooh. It's like in the water. It's in the water. What the fuck is that? And it doesn't blow her up. It's no, just like she just, you know. I thought she made it. She could have made it from there. She yeah. could have, maybe. Maybe she drowned. Her, maybe she I got her, knocked down and drowned, maybe. I give her an 8.5. Mm-hmm. I, I think I'm going to give her a bronze medal for that one. Good landing. Not a good not a good arc when she jumped, came off what's, the board. What's the line from uh, from uh, Batman Forever? It's like, ooh. going to have to settle for the For the bronze. <laughs> 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 Ooh. Ooh, not a good landing. <laughs> why does he have a smoke detector if he's an avid? Oh, you know why? Because he sleeps with a cigarette in his mouth. Yeah, that's why. See, it's that's just that's bed on fire. That's that's uh, production design that you yes. don't understand unless you've seen the first movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like no doggy style for you, Sam. <laughs> I like his little home. I like, hey, go go to your fucking home. Go to your home. Like I'm trying to bang this fucking broad. What does she see in him? I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, he's badass. I don't know. He's just a cool dude. He's the cool guy. Yeah. He lives in a fucking trailer and fucking into the... I mean, this, make him not look like Mel Gibson. Make him look like Chris Farley. He, yeah. <laughs> he's a trailer down by the fucking ocean just <laughs> with a dog that he talks to. There you mm. go. So uh, six people dead by really odd means. <laughs> odd bombs. <laughs> odd bombs. They got, they got a discount on C four. Yeah, so, yeah uh, apparently so. You don't know where Riggs lives at this point. It's like it's out at the fucking beach. The only trailer down there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think when I saw this movie, I, I didn't understand the stakes of what was happening right now. It's like, God damn, you know what? Like, six cops, pretty much this got yeah, killed I mean, right this, now. <laughs> this would essentially be, like, one of the, the the biggest stories in the history of the world. Yeah. If, like, six cops were... Six just cops murdered, murdered seriously. <laughs> with bombs. I but, mean, good God. Imagine if that happened today. And to be honest with you, they kind of glaze over it. It's like, six people die, and then it's like, okay, now Riggs is out for revenge. But it's like, okay, that's it. Bye. Have yeah. a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Is he drinking Red Label? I mean, good That's God. Fucking red These label. are the worst cops. And Jeff. And Jeff. And Jeff. It's a poor motherfucker right here. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, he needs more deductibles, you know? He doesn't have enough deductibles to make the dough he wants. It's like, oh, look at this girl. <laughs> <laughs> look at the body on this kid. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I look at her every night. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my rubbers. <laughs> you don't even have kind of commercials anymore? Uh, I'm a kid. I don't think you commercials. Yeah, later yeah, night, they they on FX, they have them every mm-hmm. once in a while, too. Yeah, kind of central, they do. Yeah. After, like, the Adam and Eve.com commercial. Seventh inning stretch. Ah, oh, look at those boobies. <laughs> it's a baseball expression. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm not from Mars. I'm from fucking Africa. <laughs> Africa might as well be Mars. Batter up. A.K.A. I'm going to fuck you with my dick. <laughs> Fuck the South American. Uh, there, there was Stop a... going back to this home. 
Right this before, was the worst home ever. <laughs> right before the scene, I don't know if you guys noticed this, like, as they're driving up, there's a house and it has a light on. And then as soon as they kind of drive up, that light goes out. I'm almost wondering where, like, these South Africans came from. Maybe they were in the house across the street and ran up. I just think oh. that if I was a neighbor, then Yeah, I think it's the neighbor. <laughs> That's some <laughs> shit. Here we yeah. go again. Here we go again. Oh. <laughs> Is that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles still? Hey, there he goes. There he goes. There's a fire. They're going to lose. <laughs> Is that Bo Jackson? Yeah, that's fucking but he said another day, another hobby. What's new? <laughs> I like the little subtle like fucking digs at a lot of people. <laughs> Talking to himself. Oh yeah. You know. Be great it if his daughter like over. recorded this over with like a sex therapist. Yeah, it's like, Daddy, this is for you. <laughs> I just can't win. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I like the this moving of awesome. over. It's like I'm trying to get out. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Leo. Why wouldn't he invite Leo inside? Ah, uh, I don't know. Well, they, they said, like, stay in the car. Third act. <laughs> they need a third act. That's a good fucking memory. <laughs> I mean, Jesus. Yeah. Shit. You know what I like about this scene, too? You don't, you don't see a lot of, like... Like South take, African karate. Well, you don't see a lot of South African karate, <laughs> but you don't see a lot of takes of like a camera pointing directly at a reflective surface. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I mean, normally you would see that camera right there. Yep. It's like into the void. <laughs> There's yeah, a I guess. Old into the void. <laughs> I like this little yell that Danny Glover makes. Like, <laughs> Sweating. There you go. <laughs> In your fucking head. It's like Casino Royale going on here. It's <laughs> a good shot. Mm-hmm. Nailed them both. Well, not yet. He will, though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why wouldn't that guy... This is a fucking horror movie shoot shoot right this here. This is a fucking horror film. Couldn't he yeah. just shoot the guy? Yeah, yeah I mean, shoot him. You don't... <laughs> I like how he has to yell when he shoots. It's like, makes the nail go harder? I don't know. They yeah. have both. Is that Kato? I think he killed Kato there. Oh, no. Poor Kato. Yeah. Nobody heard that joke. No. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> Nailed them both. Hopefully <laughs> everybody else did. <laughs> Hopefully everybody who's watching this has seen this movie at least seven times. Seven times. Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't, you got a fucking problem. Is that a boom mic in the shot? Probably. I think it was like a tree or something, maybe. Like, moving. Maybe. Now this is this is this is one of the. Uh, now this is some serious shit right here. We're gonna have a strike force out to kill this motherfucker. I mean, this is some crazy shit about the brick. <laughs> I mean, they don't they don't sound like one guy from no like, some Skyfall <laughs> shit right now. Yeah, this is some yeah, like this is, this is some Javier Bardem. Shit. Yeah. How do they know where he was? The cops can't find him, but they can find him. They can find him. Well, they had Maybe filed she him. was in on it. Oh, yeah. She was in on it. You think she was in on it? That bitch. She's a black she widow. Them? Nah, she definitely didn't have wasn't. cell phones back. Well, maybe they did have cell phones back. I'm not sure. Well, maybe Please. she maybe she was in on it, but like... Maybe it was the dog. Maybe it's, Yeah, he's right back. Them. Yeah. Arf, arf. Arf, arf. <laughs> Lassie. Well, you know, dog sounds like South African, I guess. And somehow Mel Gibson understands. <laughs> he speaks dog. He, he speaks dog. Dog biscuits. I think it would have been more. It would have been more interesting if it was like a naked gunfight. <laughs> like, you know, like, wild, like, wild like, some, like, like some like Eastern <laughs> Promises type shit. Yeah. Oh. Of up. It's like who has time? I was like, oh, get dressed before the gunfight. This is straight Skyfall. Yeah. So, so Skyfall just stole this entire scene. Oh, of course. <laughs> All I need is the the this little speakers. Go through yeah. the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> She's Judy Dench, I guess. Yeah. How the hell do they fit through that? I don't know. It's like it was a human dog door. This seems like a lot of uh, uh, to go through to get cops who are annoying you off your back. I mean, you got to rent out two helicopters. Um, the only thing I can think of nine cops. 
The only thing I can think of is that uh, Folstead knew who Riggs was and knew what he was capable of and said, we needed to get the fucking task force in here to kill this guy. Yeah, apparently. you kill this fucking guy? <laughs> hey. Jesus. There's bullets flying in front right there. Yeah, it's like, oh, uh-huh. don't worry about me. You just go. Go. It, it would have been cool if he, okay. got, like, if he got shot in the arm or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, they're fucking this, whatever, this yeah. trailer the fuck up. <laughs> I'm more concerned for the dog. Yeah, where's Sam? Sam got shot. Sam's like, fuck this shit, dude. I'm gonna dead. fuck out of here. He took Sam's his money as, and ran. Sam's yeah. dead as fried chicken, I think. <laughs> no, he runs to the truck, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, to he does. Back in the back like of the cab, yeah. Now, as a, as a bad guy with guns, why would the f- he get out of the fucking copter? Helicopter. It's like you have a he- perfectly good helicopter. <laughs> but this is what you get. Hey, Paul. That's what you get. You get dead, too. Sorry. Oh, uh, poor Greg Kinnear. Greg oh, Kinnear. They Kinnear. Just murdering straight yeah. up. That's a great <laughs> shot right there. <laughs> that's some John McClane. That's on top of Nakatomi Plaza. Uh, yeah, that's shot Nakatomi right, there. right here, yeah. <laughs> Same beat. Yep. Start the goddamn car. <laughs> Why didn't you start it? <laughs> oh, hug. I'm gonna punch I'm gonna you. Punch you it's all your fault. Stupid. My balls are trying to kill us, but I'm gonna punch you. Yeah, yeah what the hell did I do? <laughs> I just live this here. Not, this isn't how it's supposed to be. I would have taken the helicopter. Yeah, that's a better idea. Yeah, right. <laughs> Harder to, harder to catch up to that. Yeah. This is my favorite shot. Where, this is when he shoots down the helico- helicopter with a handgun. Fucking Beretta. With one, a one-handed shot with the Beretta. Yeah. Jesus. As I was saying before, I, when oh, I, I fired this two gun, hands there. Fine. you do not feel, when you fire this gun, you do not feel anything. <laughs> it has barely any recoil. <laughs> So when I see him shooting like that, it's like, man, it's it, that's awesome. <laughs> Got any holes? Got holes in him. <laughs> Even after asking. that. You clever dog. <laughs> this seems so stupid, though. Like, you knew, like, they came after you. They're going to try killing her, you. Yeah, why are you going to take her back to her place? Yeah, you, you they, go find Roger and yeah. go, to, go to the police station. This yeah. is the first place I'm going. It's a fucking police station. Yeah. I'm not gonna drop you off. It's it's like it's almost like it was so like a normal thing for him. <laughs> yeah, like, I think so. Friday, yeah. Somebody tries to kill him. <laughs> it was a, no, a great date. Like I, I can't believe how good the first date this was. <laughs> no, and normally, well, got, I, and normally well, I don't do a, this. She, like, she gives it up on the first date. So yeah. that and then he gets shot at it. The first, I mean, this this is literally. I mean, Uma Thurman and Vince Vega didn't have a worse date than this. Yeah, I mean, they had an eventful date, but I mean, you know, it was it, it was better than this one. Yeah, I mean, she was easy. I mean, yeah. he met, she literally t- it said three words to her, gives it up on the yeah, first date. Like, oh, South African chicks. <laughs> there's there's so about it, so man. So slutty. <laughs> Even when their boss is, you know, fired machine gun bullets at him, still wants to make out before she leaves. It's, just, it's all never traumatized. Nope. <laughs> and to be honest with you, when I when I saw it for the first time, I was like, "Oh, this is like a nice moment. Nothing, nothing wrong is going to go. Nothing bad can come of this." And then he, Matt, yeah. Matthew was so wrong. And it's and it's so twelve year old Matthew is like, "What the fuck is happening now? Why?" <laughs> Go kill people! Go kill people, <laughs> Oh, what a nice moment. <laughs> Bitch, give me my jacket back. I know. Yeah, I give, me, give me Axel Foley's jacket back. Give me my R jacket. Whatever R is. I don't even R, know R is. <laughs> the hell it is. I'm from R University. <laughs> Riggs University. It could be Riggs, Riggs University. University. <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> Uh, Riggs is finally back in the groove. He fucked a fucking blonde chick. He's fucking sliding down the fucking. He gets, he gets killed a bunch of South Africans. Killed a whole bunch of people. Feeling fucking good about himself, and then you get that. 
<laughs> and where's the dog? <laughs> dog left, man. Dog, dog is not. Dog's not hanging around this. <laughs> Tell me, like, look, I'm hiding. Oh, there he goes. Oh, fucking bullshit. Alive. It's alive. <laughs> Rick is like, I got her in the sack. Now I'm in the sack. How the fuck does this work? <laughs> Why couldn't they just shoot him here? They they shot uh, 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 Danny Glover's body um body double. Well, before. because you wouldn't get that cool old trick you're gonna see in a few minutes. Yeah, now, that's, that's obviously a uh, you know foreshadowing. Man, can you cost your life, man? <laughs> he's, I mean, if he's Irish, he's doing. He's I mean, good. He sounds just like Charto, so he's yeah. doing this accent mm-hmm. right. Right, all the fuck it around. That's the thing. If you understand what people are saying when they're South African, you're fucking good. Yeah. But I can't understand shit. Yeah, he's from Dublin. Dublin. He was Dublin. raised. He was raised in London. I mean, that, then, so he's just doing this accent, which is uh, it's spot on to me. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not South African, but it sounds just like Charlotte Copley yep. or everybody's District Nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Stay Dragon. <laughs> oh yeah, he there he is. A fucking mean of hair. <laughs> Eric Clapton thought this was like a an upbeat moment. <laughs> now, is it, now is it me or does the other henchman look a lot like Kurt Ward Smith? <laughs> Bitch as leave. Bitch as leave. <laughs> he looks a lot like him. that guy. Looks a lot <laughs> like fucking bitches leave right there. If he would have said dumbass, yeah, then, yeah, maybe. <laughs> dumbass. Oh, there you go. I, don't, I still don't see how that helps you. I don't know either. <laughs> I, I simply do not understand. It's like, yeah, okay. Look at chains on the other thing. I don't. Oops. So, uh, do you think they shot her or they just drowned her? Ah, uh, I think they. I don't know. They may have stolen her. I think they probably like tied her to like a brick or something. Yeah, that's how it kind of looks. Yeah. I mean, that sucks that they killed her. That's like a shitty way to. <laughs> that's. I mean, that's like God damn. It's fucking. God, you ruined the jacket. Yeah. Fuck. He should have taken the jacket yeah. back. Well, he did take. Well, he did take her out of the water. If he took, no, this, if he put the jacket on. Yeah, this is the most was, vicious murder. This is right. the most vicious fucking killing kick. I've ever. Seen. I'm gonna snap your fucking neck here in a minute. I mean, he killed this, the fuck out of this guy. This it's right here is fucking. In the window Brutal. first. And then you're going to get this. God damn. First one should have killed him. Yeah. Ah, okay. I mean, good God. <gasps> yeah, right here. And then you get the... <laughs> I love that fucking horn going off. <laughs> now you got to think about this. He dove back in the water, did whatever he needed to do to untie her or undo her. Yeah. And then fucking drag her back up. Again, he needs the jacket back. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he needs that jacket. That was not easy to The jacket just like, happened to come with a woman, too. What is he doing at this point? He's just pacing? Yeah, thinking? He's just, yeah he doesn't know what to like, do. What should, what should I do? What should I do this should I put her down here? Should I put her down there? Sam, tell me. Come on, Sam, help me out. <laughs> Sam's like, man, I might get Sam's like, I'm that a that fucking way. dog. <laughs> <laughs> Sam talks the first time. Dog. Dog. dog that talks. Fucking son of Sam right here. <laughs> I, I do I do love the moment where he's just like, you know what, fuck it. Fuck the I think this was written as you were saying, Justin, to be the last one. Because yeah. he kinda like give up being cops and just yeah, like, I'm not, well, he says it. I'm not a cop tonight. Well, yeah. And and plus, I mean you already found out what happened with his wife and everything. So yeah. it's like everything got uh, resolved. Resolved. Yeah. And plus the ending what yeah. happens. Apparently, I guess that's that's what Shane Shane Black had wanted, and then he just walked off because they were like, "You can't kill him. You got to make more." We have a yeah. franchise. <laughs> you can have Lethal Weapon two without a three. Nobody has two movies. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna fuck him. <laughs> Did 
Kills them both. See, he's Kills he's doing both. something. Right. Mel Gibson's in a different movie at this point. He's yeah. doing like traumatized <laughs> shit. The, the South African chick isn't really important to him, but he's like associating it with his wife. Yeah, he's doing, some, he's doing some deeper shit right yeah. there. <laughs> getting pretty fucking I dark. Like I like that. Just throw that away. Yeah, put that in a fucking suitcase, with whatever. He got his poor ass daughter on a picture frame. Yeah. <laughs> how funny this movie is this movie's fucking dark dark man when it gets dark it gets yeah. dark third act Woo. all the jokes are gone yeah the jokes <laughs> we're not joking around anymore slimy little shit <laughs> <It comes up. laughs> apparently he likes it he seems to like it <laughs> I mean, he is breakneck yeah. speed. With... <laughs> <laughs> you don't give a fuck. Yeah, Bertal got there the same time as him. I know. That's, that's perfect. That's time. Glad they <laughs> saw each other. They would have fucking died right there. <laughs> Head on collision. Rick and Bertal. There, Raj. <laughs> Looks like he was drinking. Yeah, yeah I think he was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I had a, had a few. <laughs> Stopped at Subway, had a few. I mean, Mel Gibson in this scene right here, he looks fucking evil. Yeah. He's got that Bad sick hat, though. Gibson. Yes. Yeah, Where's a fucking hat? Where'd he get the hat from? Because he's always has it. That's his us. Uh, I'm I had to hat. stop at the hat store. <laughs> Buy a hat. <laughs> I got one for you too. I heard it on the radio. <laughs> I I got the date sewed in to when we <laughs> fuck these guys. <laughs> I got pins and merchandise. <laughs> I got a cup I made. God damn it, Riggs, you're taking too much. This is you're taking this too personal, Riggs. You're taking this too far. <laughs> I don't have a franchise. I can't die here. I make money. Guys like you don't die on toilets. <laughs> I shoot these fuckers. <laughs> I'm going to kill them. I'm going to fuck them. <laughs> then I'm gonna I mean, he's, in a dark, he's in a dark place in this world. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Clevers, he almost looks afraid like fuck. I guess I gotta go. Yeah, I'm, okay. I mean, I'm not gonna cross this guy. He'd probably yeah. shoot me. Look at that fucking hat. <laughs> Look at that hat. See that hat he got on there? I'm not fucking with that. I love uh, I love how Grand Theft Auto took this, and you get to do it. Oh, the still house. Oh, the yeah. Still house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When I was I was I was playing it with my sister, and she's like, uh, I'm like, that's a lethal weapon two thing. She's like, what the hell are you talking about? I'm like, oh, oh my god, fucking kids. <laughs> Damn kids. <laughs> Damn Don't appreciate kids. nothing. Goddamn heartbreaker. <laughs> Goddamn heartbreaker. <laughs> Who are you talking to, Danny Glover? Stop talking to yourself. Talking to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> He's narrating his own life. Fucking heartbreakers here. <laughs> you guys better not mess up. <laughs> I don't even know who you're doing anymore. You do not get you do. I'm doing everybody. You know what I mean? I'm in a fucking mind of my. I'm in my own fucking movie. Like Mel Gibson. At this point. <laughs> That's in his own movie. He's back in Stuart and Belizzi on the beat. <laughs> <laughs> it's the big one. Oh, it's an earthquake. Cool. Old fashioned look. Oh. It's all right. It's all right. Godzilla. <laughs> What's the Leo there? He says, "Take me away from the window." <laughs> Now I, I wonder. I wonder if they did this in the MythBusters. Could you really pull this thing down with this uh, truck? I don't know, man. I don't know. Wait, it is a dual cab. But they did. They do do this. It's a practical uh, effect. Yeah, practical effect. Yeah. It, uh, it cost them half a million dollars. Oh, they don't, they don't use a miniature there when it, they, they tear it down. If they did, it's an expensive miniature. <laughs> it's of the Morpheus rescue in the Matrix. <laughs> Watch the glass! Watch the glass! The dream is collapsing. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The dream's collapsing. Okay, okay. <laughs> so fucking happy about tearing somebody's fucking house down. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't, like, kill anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Yeah! <laughs> America number one. America number one. <laughs> America one, South Africa nothing. Keep in mind, that's, this is a that, mountain. That there's like crime num- of houses. That's crime number me. one, right? That's number one crime right there? Uh, gonna I mean, stick up. We should do a counter on all the charges they've just accumulated for well, going well, right. To be honest, to be fair, they're not cops tonight. Not cops. <laughs> <laughs> that's destruction of property in like multiple murder. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's three counts of murder, I think. <laughs> Holy Christ. <laughs> Chill on the fucking hood of the car, smoke a cigarette, no big deal. Just tore a fucking house down. His Adolf in there. <laughs> Do I get a hat too? <laughs> Hug. Oh. Uh, we'll see you in the sequel. I don't want to. I don't want to hug. Get the fuck away from me. Fuck yeah. Rick's like, I don't give a fuck what you do personally. Because we're not cops. We're not tonight. cops tonight. You can. That's not <laughs> what the fucking siren is right now. Check this shit out. <laughs> This is kind of a Michael Mann collateral shot right here. It's a little collateral shot going on here. I like it. Helicopter shot. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it coming in. The... I mean, if this, if, when you get opportunity, just look at the look on Gibson. I mean, Gibson is as straight. Yeah, he can't say shit over. anymore. <laughs> Not one joke anymore. Just out for blood. <laughs> Now, I like this scene right here because it's like, we'll take him out, and you know what? They fucking take him out. Yeah. Back in their fucking bodies between the canisters. <laughs> it's like they were fucking around. There's one part of this I really, really love, This of, of all the murders that are about to take place. <laughs> it's the one where he's screaming his, part, his, his uh, partner's names as he fucking kills that one guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> My God, is vicious. <laughs> that guy is, that guy's like, look, I'm just a lackey. Why yes. are you killing me yeah. so bad? <laughs> I'm just tired for minimum wage. Good God, man. Got a family. Fifty <laughs> bucks an hour is not worth it. Take twenty. I've points. always, I've always wanted to shoot a lock off with a gun. Yeah, I wonder if you could really do that. It'd probably ricochet and yeah, not mean not, kill you. <laughs> lock is like, ha ha, we won. Or yeah. worse, blind me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pull some Jack Napier shit on you, deflect the bullet off Batman's helmet. <laughs> Think about the future. <laughs> it's Paul Rudd's. Put <laughs> 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 all my kids to college. How much money do <laughs> you think that? Uh, I don't know. A lot. At least twenty dollars. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he, he, about he, thirty, man. <laughs> yeah, good meal. Fucking millions. Yeah, you, could, you could supersize everything you want with that one. Money. I mean, now Gibson doesn't give a fuck. Take some of this. Redecorate take the it. house. Take it. Oh, I like Gibson's <laughs> attitude. Like, take the fucking money. What the fuck's take the problem? The We're not cops tonight. We're not cops. Yeah. Cops. Cops take people who are cops take money all the time. Thousand dollar bills. You, you gotta understand how many cops movies, cop movies, and cop TV shows have you seen where corruption like this is bad? In this movie, it's like a joke. It's like, hey, yeah, go ahead, take the money. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know. It's it's a combination of Mel Gibson gets on a death wish at this point, and then also him like saying, "Are you still the same guy? I think you are." I don't know. There's still that little. I mean, that, I mean, he's the hero at this point, and he's telling him, "Take the money, fuck it." <laughs> Cares. I mean, the shield was based on doing the opposite of that. Yeah, <laughs> and killing people. Yes, and killing people. Killing your own kind. Get down. Get down. Get down. I guess they forgot they had a fucking car in there. Yeah. Oh man, that's a fucking car container. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know Danny, Danny Glover's it, idea. <laughs> Danny Glover's idea. Let's just wait it out. We're going to get out eventually. It's like, ah, no, I mean, Danny. Danny Glover said shoot their way out, so yeah. he was off some fucking bloody shit. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> More sensible of the two is Riggs in this, uh, <laughs> in this exercise. I want to be that guy. The yeah. remote controller. <laughs> can, I be, can I hold the control boss? I want to be mullet remote control henchman. <laughs> Just this one time. Number two. Keep down, we'll give you the remote control back. 
I, don't, I can't say I'm a big fan of that of this slow motion scene. It looks really bad slow yeah. motion. <laughs> yeah, it's almost animated. Yeah. It's, it's horrible. <laughs> but they do that a couple of times. Yeah. Not just in this They did one, it in part one, too, when they pulled the guns out on Busey. That's a Donner thing, man. Yeah. That is a Donner thing. All that money. Did they put all their money in one container? Yeah, they're dumb. God, they're the dumbest <laughs> fucking people I've ever known. You're, you're a criminal? Make sure they're dead. Get some fucking uh, scuba gear and get the fucking money. I know. It's, well, it's just, no, this is fire in the water. Throw bullets away. Yeah. <laughs> you go first. Call me. <laughs> fucking fight or flight, Murtaugh. There you go. That's how you fucking go down a fucking zip line. Broke his fucking ankles. <laughs> He's pissed. Where do you get the ropes from? Uh, I don't. I don't know. But you keep you keep those uh, L.A. police officers keep ropes on them yeah, all the time. Always repelling. This guy right here. Yeah, fucking Ten hats. Yeah. Oh. Just some I mean, walls. Did you notice that he shot him like seven times with bullet holes, and then he had no bullet holes when he shot him that last time? <laughs> Look, that, man, he's got magical bullet hole uh, <laughs> propellant. <laughs> The Look at him rolling. Right there. That's fucking. He is a roller and a half. <laughs> Ooh, it was so... uncalled for. Yeah, he didn't have, he didn't have to do that. <laughs> Why would he go up gun first? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know. He's like, hey guys, I got a gun, by the way. Don't shoot. <laughs> it just touches balls right there. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's still fresh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use those for later. I'm going to put your balls in a sling. Oh, oh, fucking shit right there. Ow. I'm going to kick you. I like this little, like, I like his little, like, prancy fight fighting style he has. A little it's capoeira. Pretty... Yeah. Capoeira, he's a little capo. A little yeah. African karate. I guess. <laughs> it's like they're having a dance off. <laughs> <laughs> you just got served. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I reached back in 2003 for that you guys, that you got served joke, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> It's prancing around. Take out that knife. Yeah. Stab that Look, mother. It looks like the fucking knife's all the way through him. Is it like all the way through He's his He's rolling on it, so. Yeah, I guess, yeah. <laughs> does that, look like it's That knife is all the way through his fucking leg. <laughs> I don't think I've ever noticed that. Jesus Christ. Ow, that hurt. Yeah, I guess keep doing that. fucking kneecap. Ow. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, that's not feeling good. This is like a shot. This is like the, the same Private Ryan scene with the knife. Yeah. <laughs> with a Nazi knife, the yeah. Nazi Hitler youth knife. This should have killed him, shouldn't it? Uh, I mean, it depends where you stab him. What? Mike. Mel Gibson? No, the other guy. Holstead? I mean, he stabs him in the gut, right? I guess, but still. I think if you stab somebody in the gut that deep, it's like, you think it would, like, hit their spine. That's a big I mean, fucking He's in the stab, and he guts him. He, yeah. he pulls up on it, like, three times. But then he pulls up, I don't it's know. It's a pretty nice size yeah. knife, too. Yeah, that's a big fucking knife. I got respect for his, like, aiming style. Like, he threw that fucking knife right through the leg. He's like, nah, I'm so angry at you. I'm like, so angry, I'm gonna do something worse than fucking gut you. Look at that. Look at that face. Yeah, I, what's that? <laughs> what was his plan before he saw I, that? I don't know. I'm going to press it. <laughs> yeah, that. Hey, I like that button. It's a slow-mo again. Yep, another bad slow-mo shot. <laughs> oh, I meant to do that. Walking around. Again, doing all the hard work. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Gotta check this whole fucking boat. It's bullshit. <laughs> no. Hey, I'm not okay. okay, Roger. A okay. A okay. Oh, no. Ducks stick together. 
drop it is. Well, you just shot your partner <laughs> like seven times. Yeah, <laughs> you're not cops. You shouldn't be even announcing yourself anymore. <laughs> Most famous retort ever. Pretty fucking good. Right after this, boom in your fucking brain. <laughs> then revoked, <laughs> bitch. I mean, now understand what Danny Glover just did there. <laughs> he just blood? broke every law of the <laughs> He just cold-bloodedly murdered a man. <laughs> man had no weapon. A headshot, also. Rush, rush. I lost it's... my hat. Where's my hat? Where's my lucky the hat? Detroit Tigers hat. <laughs> oh, the Detroit Tigers. Oh. <laughs> Is this where he was supposed to die? Uh, yeah. yeah. I would assume. Well... You know, when he comes down and they, they speak. And he doesn't it's, like it's where he's supposed to go. He's supposed to die then. Like it's funny. Time. I mean, that script, if he would have died, that would have been a real fucking downer, dude. Like, what? what Is it? Because, died? I mean, he, 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 you know, he finally, I don't know. Got the guy who killed his wife. And... Yeah, yeah, he's got that closure. closure. He's, yeah, exactly. he's got the closure. I mean, this is like That's... the Empire Strikes Back of, like, the Lethal Weapon series. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Definitely. Take the money and run. You know, the thing about it is, this seems like you don't want Gibson or his character to go out like that. He kind of went out like a soldier. He killed, fucking killed the shit out of that guy. Yeah, he shot him in the back. He did get shot by a fucking guy from Mighty Ducks. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> How many years in jail would they both um, be serving after this? Um, well, this is L.A., so probably not, not a day. Yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> that is true. I never <laughs> I never thought about that. Well, they are white, so. Oh, well, half of them are. Well, Danny Glover. Danny Glover, 20 like... years. Mel Gibson, 20 days. <laughs> 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 You see NBC, you can't smoke. Yeah. Oh, God. Good old fucking days. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Son of a bitch. I'm going to stroke your hair and make you my girlfriend. (laughs) Decaffeinated. Oh, I get it. Like, Kaffa. You know what's funny? I've seen this movie a billion times. Never got that joke. I know. It's kind of a weird right joke. I thought it was, like, decaffeinated. Like, coffee? I was like, what? I don't I know. know. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> that shit went woof, way the fuck over my head. <laughs> <laughs> Look, looks like Gibson has more of a bloody face in that scene than he does in that scene. I don't know. It doesn't look like the makeup job was that great. Probably. Some of the lights out of his yeah. face. It's like shadowed out. Yeah, maybe. Damn you, script supervisor. Yeah, Where were you? Go. Get on your job. This cop's just, this cop's just sitting there. Yeah, should we get an ambulance for those guys? Should we have said, <laughs> should we have done something? Jeffrey <laughs> Bowen. Screenplay. Who the hell's Jeffrey Bowen? I don't know. He did the screenplay. Story about Shane Black still, though. I love this song at the end. This song is George yeah, Harrison. Song. The late J. Michael Riva. That guy's no longer with us. Oh. Neither is Mel Gibson. Yeah. Oh, wait. He is with us still, isn't he? He's in my, Beard. He's in my soul. He's been the director of uh, the, the Steve Marine. Steve Perry. There you go. David <laughs> Sanborn right there. No, Baird directed uh, Nemesis, I think. <laughs> oh, sorry, really? Really? I think so. Or one of, one of he, no, he did a, one of the Star Treks. I can't remember. Huh. I always the like I, I always like the uh, the what do you call it? the uh, lethal weapon font that they always use here. The font, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, he's been a fan of that font. Fan of the font. I like the shot. I like the shot. Is good. Yeah. The color. You like what? the George Anderson? Uh, this is a good song, man. It's a this, good this, song. This, this action move, this action franchise probably has one of the greatest, oh, yeah. like... Yeah, but you gotta... How many, how many great sequels are there that almost Barely equal any. or surpass? Michael Bay is responsible for one of them, sadly. 
Bad Boys mm. 2. Yeah, I'll take Bad, Bad Boys, Boys 2. 2. <laughs> I mean, I love Bad Boys 2. <laughs> because it was kind of like a callback to this. This movie. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that, I think that whole genre, like uh, even Twenty Two Jump Street, I think the sequel's better than the first one. I like this sequel better than this. Anything with cops as partners, I think, kind of does. Pretty I didn't well. like another Forty Eight Hours. I didn't like no. uh, yeah, okay, steak, okay. another Stakeout. It's it's a, it's rare because they, they, I mean, it's tough. It's tough to keep using the same formula and yeah. you know making it work. I mean, I've. I like four. I've always thought third was the third one was the weakest, but yeah. that's because it's really dark almost. Because yeah. a lot of people die in that movie. Horrible people. Yeah, oh, cop killers. <laughs> Fucking cop killers. But it works. I mean, you know, they say they always talk about rebooting it and whatnot, and I don't want that because it's not the same people. That's the chemistry in there. Yeah, you know, they did a. a Fifth one, it's different. I mean, it would suck, but you're never you know. gonna get the same thing. Uh, That's why I was asking you. Who do you think could ever do what Mel Gibson you does? Can't. I don't know. I mean, you could do the crazy, the crazy and charming because he's doing he's doing crazy psychotic but charming at the same time. Yeah, I, there aren't any other actors out there that I can really point to. I can do that. Difficult. It really is difficult. But I mean, you also have his 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 equal. As, as you know, his partner, yeah, and foiled. that's difficult Perfect to find foiled. too. Yeah. You know, I, I, after watching, a, after watching, a, seeing that he's remaking, a, what about Hardy? Seeing that he's remaking Mad Max. I was thinking, of, I was thinking of Hardy, uh, of uh, Hardy Tom might Hardy. be the closest. I mean, that we can get to seeing like a Mel Gibson type actor because he's charming who, enough. He has the range to do it. Tom Hardy, Idris Elba. What you saying? You, are you saying that you would put? I mean. Would you put Hardy as as a uh, as Riggs? Yeah, 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 because he's playing he's playing him he's playing fucking Max. He's 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 got about the same range. He can do fucking psychotic. Yeah. He's just charm. I think Max is different. I mean, I just, I mean, Hardy's great and all, but you just just leave it. Max just is leave, like a toned down one. character. Yeah. Come up with something yeah. different. Just do something completely different. No, Justin. No, we I, have I to we need money. Save us, we need the Pay money. The <laughs> man, his money. His money. <laughs> oh boy. Well, uh, this has been the uh, Simplicity Reviews commentary of the great Lethal Weapon oh, Two. Uh, fucking the best one in the series for me. Yes, definitely. You guys have any final f- words, final thoughts, final uh, insults? We miss you, Jay Engel. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> You just stole that from the credits. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Your final words aren't even yours. <laughs> well, there were some What the fuck? <laughs> what a horrible fuck you are. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it, Stuart. But Lizzie, get in my office. Give me your matches back. <laughs> You're fired again. Yeah, I saw the credits, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Imagine your gun right now. <laughs> Suck on an egg. Suck an egg. (laughs) I just don't give a fuck.